muted. I'm considering having a uh, a thing in place in my personal life and online where it's going to say something like, do not talk to me. I have to go live today. Because people ask me the stupidest questions that send me into a blind rage. An absolute just, what would you do if you had $10 million? What would you do if you didn't have to do this? I'd live my fucking life. How many times I have to answer that question? What would I do? I don't know. Maybe I'd have some fun for a change. I have to do this show now, Stone Cold Sober. People were messaging me. Gundam, you got to get off the vitamins. <laughs> They're bad for you. And I'm like, no shit. You know why I'm on the vitamins? But my hands don't work. God damn it. I paid thousands of dollars and my hands don't work. They were, messaging, they were messaging me, too. It was getting real bad. Listen, if I die, I die. All right? When I go, you can fucking put on Ivan Drago. Jesus fucking Christ. A man has a little bit of fun. So much fun, he passes out on stream. That's entertainment. It's the realest shit you've ever seen. What, what comes close to that level of real? Fucking nothing. What? Neon pretending he get in a fist fight with voice critical snooze the It's a Gundam gets so blasted he falls into another dimension. Now that's what I call entertainment. Today's show is about shit I don't give three fucks about. Not three, not one, not two. Uno, dos, tres. Each knee, son, in whatever language you speak. <sighs> I do look at that out of me. Ziltex is not coming back. Stop messaging me about motherfucking Ziltex. God damn it. Jesus fucking Christ. Ziltex is doing we much better than this shit. Believe me. Yeah, Zil is like, he's getting a new car. He's got a nice apartment. He has a Zil has a real job. He has a real job. He's dating some hot chick. It's over. You'll never see Zil again. Accept it. Your mother didn't love you. She left. Now you're stuck with daddy. Guess what's for dinner? It's motherfucking chicken nuggets from uh, uh, Burger King because they're on sale and they taste like shit. Welcome to the show, <laughs> Vitamin Z. <laughs> I wish I was taking vitamins. It's like uh, uh, even uh, people in my personal life, my personal assistant was like, I don't know if you should take those vitamins. And I'm like, I need my vitamins to succeed. This job has me on vitamins. I was vitamin free before YouTube. I didn't smoke. I didn't drink. I was damn near straight edge. Now I've turned into a bargain bin Hunter S. Thompson. I'm doing shit that's got me so fucked up. Fratanga is contacting me. Gundam, are you alive? Gundam, make sure when you go to sleep tonight, you sleep on your side. And I'm literally like, if I fucking die, I die. Who cares? What am I going to miss out on? Oh, I get to watch some more shit I fucking hate that I can't goddamn stand. Then I can make a video where I spend way too much time on it and get minimal views because the goddamn site gave me a little blacklisting because I said something bad about the alphabet mafia. And it wasn't bad. It was true. It's all what we think and believe and we know. But you can't say it anymore because it might hurt someone's fifis. What good will fifis do when the Russians take over? Not a fucking thing, my friend. Comrade, you will be with me in the fucking gulag and they won't give you your medicine and I won't have my vitamins. Okay, I'm done ranting to the heavens. <laughs> I thought I got it out of me before the show started, but the truth is I didn't. I was washing dishes screaming. <sighs> Taste the rainbow. That's exactly right. Like it's oh. a stressful, it's a stressful time. It's I hate this time. job. We've got shit coming out on the on Disney Plus to watch. Magical Negroes only hit a million bucks. No, it didn't hit a million. It hit three hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand. Okay, it didn't even crack a million. No. Nobody wants that shit. No. It's absolute garbage. You know, FNT tried to force me to watch it to come on the show. So instead of coming on the show, I fell down the stairs and told him I couldn't make it. I wasn't watching Magical Negroes. No, I don't care. No. <laughs> <laughs> For homework. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I'm the wild man of Barneo. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was so bad they couldn't even find a bootleg of it because no one wanted to go see it in the theater. 
Well, uh, yeah, we couldn't other... get our fucking friend in India to get us a copy. Right. Fuck you, Rajneesh. I don't pay you to tell me no. Uh, did you see we were also caught up in a little bit of a, we were tagged in a tweet by Rich because he's back in a fight with, uh, with Jay. Yeah. And, and I'd like to let everyone know just for, just to set it out there. I did approach Jay for editing for Gundam a while back, but we only got to talking, never hired him. Never hired. You mean Jay fucking ghosted me. Is yes. what you mean. <laughs> I was trying to be. I was trying to be. Uh, you can say I don't give a shit, it, but yeah, sure. I don't give a fuck. I've fuck been it, ghosted by it. hotter chicks. It's just <laughs> just how it was. I, I was like, okay, sure, you got a good price. You seem like you're willing to do it, but he seemed apprehensive, which I guess I can understand. Most editors that look at the shit I'm doing, then they're like, this is before the whole Jay and Rich war. Okay, I wasn't trying to scoop up Jay after this crazy shit. Nah, this was just a little something on the side. We were seeing if you know he had time, and he didn't. And he didn't. He took one look at the stems for a a, a Gundam edit, and he was like, "Nah, I'm good." <laughs> He's like, "I let me try," and then never heard from him again. I was like, "Fuck it." I did send another message. Like, you got any free spots? Because I was desperate to get away from this computer. And then he never replied. I got less respect than Dark Side Phil. Yeah. Oh, true. Phil goes in his DMs. He's like, we're going to be buddies. We're going to be pals. We're going to wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> it's chill, chill, positive fun. It's a chill, positive vibe. Just two dudes chilling out. Yeah. That's how, um, what was that porn movie you started? Was it Homo Lulu or um, Didgeridoo Me? Did you redo? Yeah. This was the uh, original video, just so we give context to the audience. It's a few days old, but we'll just go ahead and play it real quick. A few days? It's like 24 hours. There's something else I want to make abundantly clear. I'm Two about days. to record some Elden Ring footage, but before I do that, I want to say this. I could give zero fucks about interviewing Phil. Like, it's in the negatives, my desire to interview Phil. My desire to interview Phil died with the Side Scrollers podcast. I hate them, but they did the work for me. There's nothing else that needs to be done. Like it's a Gundam said, he's a husk of a human being. Everything <laughs> that we need to know about the man is known. And even if I had access to him, even if Phil came to me with the biggest, most throbbing erect cock and said, please, Daddy Rich, interview me. I don't want to interview him because as soon as I ask him a question that is going to piss him off, which I will, he'll be gone in seconds. I would rather fist myself after I put my fist in bleach than interview Phil. I That's don't want to interview him at all. It's, all it's going to be is a fluff piece of middle-aged men sucking each other's cocks. Maybe that's what you want. Maybe that's what you're into. If that's your thing, God bless. So, I should have told you to like make sure it didn't happen in the first beginning of this video so I could I, at least make a few, few guns. We had a few. Uh, I, I timed it. We had like five minutes. We were like uh, eight, eight minutes before that. When started. I lost my mind, did I curse vehemently? Because I can't remember what I just said. Fucking no, who cares? No. Actually, no. No. You kept it in bounds. Yeah. Acceptable. All right. So. All right, straight up lemon party. That's it, Jay Biz. You're banned for putting that in my mind. Remember when the lemon party was the wildest thing on the internet? Now look at everything. The lemon party is like, it's nothing now. Jesus Christ, we all need Christ. Okay, so the Rich uh, is, uh, he's at feud, he's feuding, he's at war with Jay. Right. Um. Now what happened after that? Because I'm obviously out of the loop. I was too busy editing trash I hate. Well, Jay comes back, and of course, Rich is going on Locale Live. He went on there yesterday, and he, you know, he has a lot of beef with Jay. I don't want to step in any of that. That's business. That's their stuff. What was more interesting to me was Jay came down from the rafters with a DSP chill interview, just like out of nowhere. He said, Phil contacted me. He contacted me. He never does that. Blah, blah, blah. Now I've got, um, here we go. Let me pull it up for everybody. Um, 
the DSP thing was something I wanted to do because he reached out to me. That never happens. I thought we'd get a little bit more insight into Phil if he opened up. However, he obviously just wants to do a fluff interview to spite Rich, which I find funny for someone saying they don't want to get involved in drama. At this point, I don't think we'll ever get any truth from Phil, but I tried. Yes, everyone was right. Phil is Phil. He'll never talk about anything serious. This is after him and DSP were talking, and the reason why they were talking was because one of the mods for Jay's Discord went into DSP stream, gave him a bunch of money, said, hey. $200 according to Piece of Peace right here. It wasn't that much, I don't think. It, it was a lot, but I don't know if it's two. Listen, if it's Piece of Peace, he keeps track of all the money Phil gets. If it's, it, okay. So Piece of Peace says two, then we'll just go with two. So it gives him two. This was early, if, if I was reading it. Um, then uh, Phil reaches out to him in DMs. They have a couple conversations. And then for some odd reason, Jay just like makes a tweet about it on his Twitter in the middle of the night. And everyone, all the detractors, everyone's up in arms. Um, then Rich gives us that video, and then he goes on Locale Live. And then DSP says, Jay's a snake. <laughs> you know, it was like 24 hours later, and Jay said, Jay's a snake, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to be involved with him. And well, you should have just played the clip instead of us giving us the clip notes. Like, you could have... What I'm, if I said I'm, about I'm chopping up clips? Right I, I need to split into two people to get more done, apparently. I need to become a mutant. Okay. All right, so Phil... But Phil saying... Okay, so Phil contacted Jay because someone tricked Phil into talking to Jay then. Correct. Or played okay. nice to him when he was like, oh, you're the coolest, DSV. You need to talk with this guy. He's also Yeah, because it's like a total 180 because the Jay tweet basically said they were going to have a fun, chill time or some shit. Then it turned into somehow it was going to be an interview. Right. And he said he wouldn't address the uh, the elephant in the room, which I guess is the WWE thing. But, you know, these are two dudes that are playing video games. It's like at this point. <laughs> I wish I could play some video games. I, I'd like to be doing that right now, actually. So this is DSP from today, only for a few hours ago. He made a video about Jay. I love that yesterday. look on Phil's face. But uh, That's the look I have when I wake up. <laughs> it's like, oh, here we go again. Here You're we fucking go. This guy, once to sense, who was on my streams over the weekend, had presented this opportunity. He says, I'm actually someone who I, I, you know, I work with Jay all the time, and he's expressed interest in talking with you. Would you consider it? I said, I'm open to a, just, a, a, just a conversation about anything, gaming or whatever, something positive. That's cool, you know? And that's, that's how it was presented. This wasn't an interview. This wasn't an interrogation. It has nothing to do with me. It's just talking about games and life and stuff like that. It was supposed to be casual and fun. Um, and I'm like, that sounds like a plan. So I DM'd him and we had a conversation back and forth that was literally to that effect. Don't talk about drama. Don't talk about Rich at all. Let's just have a conversation as two gamers and two YouTubers and have a good time. And we were actually talking specifics of how to set that up. He had wanted to do a talk beforehand, like on the phone or something, to, to lay out the specifics of how we were going to make it happen because I don't know how we would even do that. Like how, if we were to do it, would... DSP's DMs are always closed, by the way. Remember he says he... He, yeah, he had to unblock do... him to do this. Yeah. Like a, a phone call. What can, DSP can't use like Discord or something? Is that a thing? It, he, it, it's only the email. And even later on in this, he, he shits on Keem. Calls you him know, a liar. Remind me to get Keem started giving me DSP's phone number so I can leave voicemails. <laughs> <laughs> Acceptable. Hello, Phil. It's me, Bobby Two Shoes. I just sent a lot of money to your account. I hope you get it. And I hope that Jay, that horrible snake, falls down the stairs and his shoes falls off. And he gets hung by his onesie of Winnie the Pooh because he couldn't <laughs> hope to hold your fucking jock strap when it comes to making content, Phil. You're the greatest ever. Oh, well. Goodbye and I love you more. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do to that guy, but I'm probably going to get a restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> the New York police are going to... Bro, the police are going to come here because this is New York and we're fucking retarded. The police are going to come here to arrest me. You're going to see me on the news. Disgraced YouTuber, it's a Gundam, arrested today for harassment of, of one Phil Brunel. And as they drag me the paddy wagon, I'll be screaming, you let migrants steal iPads and sell them on the road. And they're like, get out, you bigot. You bigot. <laughs> we get out of New York. It? I'm trying. Where, where Why does at? everybody keep saying that shit? Like, I'm not trying. YouTube is fucking me. Everyone like this stream and share it everywhere. And clip it and do whatever. That's what we need. We need exposure. I need my fucking videos popping off. Let's get me to 600k minimum. You want Daddy Gun to survive? Save my ass. God damn it. Subscribe, you little fuck. All right, more Perspectives. 
Or would it be only on one of our channels? Would it be an offline thing we do and record and we each upload, which we could have done that too? Like, I have no idea. And I think that's what we were supposed to talk about. <clears throat> and the next thing I know, Jay is tweeting, oh, well, the whole DSP thing, I only entertained it because he reached out to me and he's never going to have a serious interview and talk about the important topics. He's just like everyone says. So I'm like, wait, what? Like literally nothing you're tweeting about is anything we ever discussed. You Show said you want to have a casual conversation with That's what I'm saying. Yeah, do it. Phil, me. fuck it. That wasn't drama. That was positive. You didn't say anything about an interview. You didn't say anything about questions or nothing. It Bro, was supposed to be a you pause this for a second? You know what I wish? What's I that? wish Phil would just be real. So badly. Yeah. I wish Phil would just go listen. Um, I got a gambling addiction. My wife won't fuck me. Uh, this J guy came in here and he... He he breadcrumbed me, chat. He apps. That's right, Derek. He breadcrumbed me like a hooker. And here are the DMs. This is what he said to me. You just do that. It doesn't matter, Phil. It's all over for you anyway. Right. Just you go out and blaze. Yeah, yeah. No, Phil just was just like, burn him, burn, burn that block bridge him in real time. Yeah, right. like it was Phil's some power dream. move. <laughs> Phil's like, you know what? Here comes the block, Mister Block. <laughs> There we go. Now you can go on with your fucking life. And the next day, he's back to talking about it. Because he I'm wants like, a buddy. He wants a friend. He no, really Phil, does. No, no, Phil doesn't want a friend. Phil wants some drama oh, while yeah. saying he doesn't want drama to keep it, like, because nothing's going on interesting here with Phil. But still being able to talk to him on the backside, like, where no one knows he's DMing him, him at night. Because that's what I was amazed at. He's like, Phil said they were talking at night? Like, what? When he was listening to jazz after dinner? <laughs> <laughs> He's plays a jazz music with his wife, yeah. who like when he touches her, she looked like she was a scared kid next to a a, a sex a offender. Sex offender. It was like, oh man, I, it was one of the few times I felt bad for Phil. I was like, oh, this is just too raw. She gave him that side <laughs> eye too, like, yeah, yeah, yeah I can't, okay, um, honey, are you okay, yeah. honey? God, and he can't get out. There's no way out. He no. can't leave until Cat no. leaves. He can't afford it. If she leaves, she takes the snort for it. Oh, yes. She's taking everything. Dude, all he has left is champions. If he loses that, we'll lose Phil. <laughs> <laughs> if his account ever got deleted, he'd be gone the next day. Over with. Then that'll be the end of the detractor community. There's so oh, many people that depend on Darkseid Phil being a fucking schnur. This man, <laughs> he's like a whole economy. It's a whole economy. He's a whole inside economy. God damn it, Phil, don't you ever die. <laughs> Phil puts people through college with his bullshit. Dude, this probably detractors that make more money than I do, bro. Probably if right. I wasn't such a lazy sack of shit, I'd cover Phil every day, too. Today in Pignosis, Phil puts on a poorly ironed shirt. <laughs> like, bro, get yourself some relaxed fit that compliments your body. God damn, Phil. I also do some push-ups, bro. He was if wearing really Tommy Bahama it. shirts yesterday because he said it was too hot. Someone checked the uh, the weather report out in Renton, and it was like 62 degrees. Phil gets on stream, and you immediately hear, Do you like pina coladas? <laughs> Margarita the Phil in the background. Me and my wife love jazz. <laughs> my wife loves it when I dress like Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Here we go, Phil. Which I'm totally open to. Why did you fucking tweet all that on, on Twitter? Like, it has nothing to do with the conversation we're literally having in DMs right now. So the moment that I see that, that's it for me, you know? like It's over. I hate to You're say done. it, but... That's it. it feel, he, the guy Sorry, Jay, you fucked up, but if you... Here's some advice. Don't let everyone on the internet know that you have something going on with DSP before it goes on. Just pop keep, up with it. Just do it. Just fuck it. Keep doing it. what you're doing, Jay. Don't listen to him. Keep doing your thing, dude. Like we're getting content out of it. Phil's yeah. in the mix. Rich is having these weird Tell us streams. Everything. Rich Tell is doing streams where he absolutely decimates Jay. Oh it's God. just like, God called damn. Him, called something him a Canadian to watch. pussy. He didn't come on Locale Live. And you messed up with that one too, Jay. You really should have gone on there and defended yourself, but you can't be a streamer without addressing some of these things. You'll be just like Phil. Fuck that. Put on your onesie. Do what you fell. <laughs> <laughs> Guy feels like he's two different personalities. And on the one hand, mm -hmm. he says one thing. And then on the other hand, he's acting like a completely different thing happened that didn't. 
you know? So I just, I don't understand it. It completely blows my mind. I'm like, well, whatever. And here's the thing. I'm done with it then, right? If that's the case, I already know I can't trust this person. Mm -hmm. So what's the point? You want to know He's my done. honest take He's on got it? The is odd. This is a guy who worked for Rich for a while, right? He literally Six has years. his hands and his mind in this kind of drama sphere. Not detractor, but like, like TMZ style content. This is what he did for a long time because he was paid to do it for Rich. He's ingrained in it, right? He's probably <laughs> all, all about it. And he <laughs> Them sad I love snorts it. get me. Defiant snort. Probably wants to continue it. So that's why he has that mindset. He probably already has this weird misconception about me because of all the stuff that Rich has said and done about me. So... He's already got this mindset, and he's not willing to have an open mind. Okay, I'm going to go ahead a little bit because there's yeah, be a because part where he talks about... The key. beauty of Phil is he talks about nothing for the longest time. Right. He talks in circles, and if you're not paying attention, you sort of zone out. Yeah. Kind of like when you're dealing with your manager at a job, and they're telling you, you got to learn this new fucking stupid shit. Uh, we got to do the end caps and make sure they're facing front. And, you know, it's really important that the customer... <laughs> and before you know it, you know, like, you're just zoning out. You're like... Man, I would have been a good guitar player in Guns N' Roses if I was an adult back then. Yeah, it would have been me and Slash. And then they're like, okay, you understand? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah, air caps. Yeah, whatever, dude. All right, I think this is anyway, the part. Like, what the fuck? All I wanted to do was be a guest on the show because they offered it, and it would have mm -hmm. given me some exposure to a you new know, audience. Stop, oh, wait, stop. Stop. Hold on. He's talking Hold about on. side pa scrollers right there. Hold on. Yeah. Pause it for a minute. Dark Side <laughs> Phil, you are now open to come on this show at any time. How about that, buddy? What do you think? <laughs> Off the cuff, completely unscripted, Dark Side Phil, come on the show and tell me about Jay or whatever the fuck is going on, you son. Come on down, <laughs> Phil. We'll give you a fair shake. I'm not going to lie to you, Phil. I'm going to grill the living shit out of you. He will, Phil. Probably me too. But I'll just You're gonna, regulate it a little bit. I'll, it's going to be immediate. like the Friars Club roast. It just is irrelevant. <laughs> You'll love it. You'll love it. Tons I'm going to tell you how you. to get your sexy up. There you go. Right? Oh, by the way, also drop the original offer to have him as a guest on our show anyway. Like, what the fuck? All I wanted to do was be a guest on the show because they offered it, and it would have uh -huh. given me some exposure to a new audience. Scrollers. Instead, I'm to I'm it's a hard to tell what the, the fuck he's talking about. He's Somebody's talking about. You're fucking insane him. to say stuff like, to act like that. You're fucked up. There we go. Right? Like, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense at all. Right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, Phil. Tell me, Daddy. Tell me. This is just hilarious to me because people, by the way, message me and talk to me all the yeah, time, email me all the time. Uh -huh. How is there a conception on the internet that I'm hard to reach? What? Because fucking Keemstar said it? He's a fucking liar. He's a liar. Ooh. Back with Let's Hell Game is a liar. Good Who player, cares? Keep playing. Go, go, he go. He made it up on purpose to create more drama and content for him. You know? Stop believing idiots. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's fucking ridiculous. <clears throat> oh, my God. Come on, Phil. Okay. Give us the news. Anyway, enough of that That's nonsense. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm done with it. I, oh, I blocked it. Jay. I'm Four not talking to him ever again. It. There's no point. That's it. Like, I got my one. I gave him the one chance. I tried to That's be nice it. and immediately get stabbed in the back and treated like dirt. Well, fuck you. I'm done with you. I'll never deal with you ever again. You're done, you Jay. Your career's over. I got shit going on for myself. I don't have to worry about you. Wish I had a right? flushing Pause toilet it. sound. <clears throat> Poor, like, what, is, what does Phil have going on? That's what I'd like to know. What does Phil have going on besides, like, the two streams a day that are, like, the most minimal of effort? I got to hand it to you, Phil. <clears throat> you have perfected not giving a fuck. I damn near want to take lessons. <laughs> if you have classes <laughs> on how to give a fuck less, sign me up. Because putting in effort has not paid off that much for me. And to be fair to Phil, this is going to be a controversial take. There's a lot of huge YouTubers that have the same work ethic as Phil. The difference is they're popular. How do you like that one? Whoa, out of the club. Well, he's out of his mind. He turns on the camera, says his piece, camera off. The difference is Phil sucks. Whoa. What happened to the sound effect? That's the boss sound effect. Huh. It just goes, Whoa. when he opens that horse folder. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Wait, we, we need so much context for that. 
Everyone knows this sound. Chad, do you know this sound? What? Nobody knows that sound because nobody let's pays see. Bosh let's the see. attention. One, if you know the sound. What? Well, that you just told him what the sound is. I was sitting here like, what the fuck is that? I thought you pissed yourself. Like, what? <laughs> what? And I'm like, oh, God. He pressed the wrong button. He shared the DMs again. No, fuck I it. Fix, okay. When does this part. get funny? The, the <laughs> last part. Ah. It's dead air, by the way. <laughs> I know. I think this mentality is common. People don't have common fundamental values like they used to. They're, people just don't have a moral compass anymore, right? Like it used to be, if you did something that hurt someone, even if you benefited from it, somehow you feel bad about it. Now it's like people just don't care anymore. I will say and do whatever I want. I will destroy people around me. I will step on them to get ahead. And no one seems to feel anything bad about that whatsoever. And it drives me bonkers because there's an entire genre of content on YouTube made like this. And I don't know how it's allowed to exist. Oh. If you want valid advocacy. The final solution of drama content. Burn it. Uh. Is this where Phil gets on his soapbox and tells yeah, us that YouTube I'm, I'm now is like... I'm done with this. Are you done with this? Yeah, I'm, I've I'm heard this speech this. so many times where it's like, YouTube promotes content that's very harmful and hurtful and blah, 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 blah. Like, bro, you fucking... Your whole career... DSP's career started on going to, like, conventions to all those Evos and fight cades, whatever, and recording people's competition footage and uploading it before the teams and shit could and getting their money. Like, bro, what the fuck? Like, dude, see, I, <clears throat> see, I try to keep an open mind as the guy I am because I know I've done a lot of fucked up things in my life. And some, some of those fucked up things I enjoyed. And in fact, sometimes when people say, you did this, this, and this, and my answer is usually, you're fucking right, I did it. <laughs> because that's just who I am. I'm like the booty warrior. You know, when he sits there and he's like, I am what I am, but I'm a warrior. Let that be known. And I was like, that shit is just so real. I'm going <laughs> to took advice from that a jail true. rapist. He's <laughs> like, out now. He's he's I know out. he's out now. Yeah. He was like on Instagram talking about, I don't know what's all this, this fuss about pussy. I miss booty. And I'm like, <laughs> then why the fuck did you marry a woman? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So right. DSP has his diet tribe. Then what happens in this saga? Well, we're pretty much called everyone up to it. Uh, side note, Jay said he's going to get legal against <laughs> Rich. from. He lives in Canada in a church, in a church attic, I think. I'm not sure, but it's in a church. But he's saying he's going to get legal counsel and sue Rich. And Rich is just like, fuck it, come at me, because he knows it's a lawsuit. And now we've called everyone up. So if anyone asks why we were tagged in that tweet... A few days ago, that's the long. Well, story Rich that goes went on by. to like uh, the the uh, the podcast for the Law Cows, right? Yeah, he did. So, I, I, what did he say that was so controversial? Because I just, didn't see it. He called him a pussy. It was a really like a thirty minute okay, long so. thing. He, it, <laughs> rich is rich, so you know he got over on him. Uh, I kind of agree with Rich in, in the business so, aspect. So, Rich, okay, business aspect. Come on, tell yeah, me. The, Business aspect, I, I agree because Jay was looked like he was slacking on the job, and then mm -hmm. now he wants to kind of profit off of off of Rich and that whole part about him saying he would expose him. That's just you don't really do that if you're trying to become a streamer and then run away and hide and not you know address it on any show. That's just bitch maneuver, <sighs> bitch maneuvers to me. So I'm over it. Okay, so Rich calls him a pussy, and then Jay immediately went to like a lawsuit in Canada. Correct. And then you know, the he's... only thing that keeps Canada from being taken over by any other country is us. Let's be real here. Oh, like Canada would be speaking Chinese if it wasn't for America. Let's give me some cheers for America. Where's that sound like? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking A. America. Except for real, dude. We <laughs> did somebody write Bussy War? <laughs> You're banned <laughs> again, Light Warrior. <laughs> Mods. Okay. Now, um, next one, we're going to do the, uh, your favorite, the acolyte. We're going to do the acolyte and I'm going to let this play. I've got to run, go to the restroom real quick. Cause I've been drinking Dr. Pepper like for an hour and a half before the stream, but I'm going to play this and I'll be right back. Why the living fuck would you like time <laughs> well, this so poorly? Just get out of here for God's sakes. Close your eyes. Ugh. Your 
lies can deceive you. We must not trust them. Tell me what comes into your mind. Life. Balance. I see fire. Oh my god, diversity Star Wars. Let me give you the play by play. I, I don't think I got it in me to watch this shit again. This is probably taking an uh this is taking place in the High Council, the new Star Wars comic that nobody gives a fuck about anymore. That's written by the usual suspects at Lucas Films, the type of people that are so creatively bankrupt they figure right, dying right. the hair purple is like an I an identity. Uh this takes place in that time where this, the, the Jedi Council is in full power and control. And uh these people, I don't know. It fucking sucks, dude. Okay, it, it's, it's the their, dark plague, the dark plague timeline, the High Republic. Yeah, it's this is their chance to do something completely on their own, and it's already starting off gay as shit. Like nothing here seems interesting. It's tired. It's boring. I'm so sick of Star Wars. I wish it would die. Like if Star Wars was an old man in a hospital, I pull the plug. It's time to go. Maybe not do anything Star Wars related for the next few years so we can all kind of recover from Star Wars fatigue. But no, no. Kathleen Kennedy's Star Wars has to keep going. Let's give a dumpy lesbian a show. Thank you, Leslie Haley, uh, Leslie Headland. Now that you're free of scouting new talent for Harvey Weinstein, you can whore out Star Wars. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> God, I hate Star Wars now. I hate yeah. it. They've got the Mandalorian movie coming up. They bumped that up to a movie now. Uh, yeah, good, good. Let's give Pedro Pascal some more work because the trans community thinks he's hot because he's an ally. There we go. He's a good actor. Fine. Maybe he is. You know what? I can't tell if he is because I can't watch shit he's done. Even I tune out during the Mandalorian. And the reason why the Mandalorian works is because he doesn't say much. Jesus fuckery fuck snacks. Yeah. If it wasn't for that cool season. outfit, no one would care about the Mandalorian. If it was just Pedro Pascal walking around in robes, no one would give a shit. Ugh! 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 We're coming for you, globalists! <laughs> <laughs> they cast him as Mr. Fantastic, for fuck's sakes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh... I'm sick of Marvel, too. Can we stop with the Marvel movies, please? I'm so tired of watching Marvel die, mommy. <laughs> there was a time when I used to get so hyped for Marvel. Yes! You know, just lose my mind like a little kid. Now, no, Fluffy, I'm sorry. Now something Marvel comes out and I roll my eyes so hard. Like the Spider-Man movies where like Zoomers pretend Zyandra is hot. Sure, if you like girls that look like little boys, she's hot as fuck. But me, I like titties. How do you like that? And I'm like, Titties. I'm the type of guy who go out on a date with a chick who has fake boobs and let her know I'm not really into fake boobs because that's who I am. I'm a real motherfucker. Ask my mother. She's telling you I'm a son of a bitch. Somebody play that old. Oh, wait, we can't play music. Yeah, I can't play copyright. Yeah, we're about to go with that song. Now you're messing with a son of a bitch. I can play uh, that. We could play the video in the background while we do super chat. I'm going to play, play it in the background we... so nobody can hear it. <laughs> Turn off your ears, chat. Where the hell is my fucking account that I pay for to play music? Uh, thank you all for showing up to this horrible show. I'm going to say that right now because I suck at this. And my give a damn broke a few years ago. Let me tell you, YouTube will crush your soul. Then they'll send you little messages like, uh, you're not performing as well as you used to. I know shit. <laughs> this site's pretty gay. <laughs> Maybe I need to be like James Charles, wear a dress and put on some makeup. You might share my videos and recommend it. Or now jump out and go. AI thumbnails and AI <laughs> voices over a video stating facts from Wikipedia. I forgot the AI like voiceovers is happening. Yeah, it's it's pretty rampant. It, it's like sad, really. 
when people won't even bother using their voices to do this shit. We're like reaching a pinnacle point of creative bankruptcy. You know what? I'm going to say something else that's going to piss some people off because I don't give a fuck. Go ahead. Hate me. I don't give a damn no more. Um, I'm used to people hating me to my face. So this is kind of new. You know what I've noticed about the community? It's how everybody bitches about how everything sucks <laughs> creatively in Hollywood and video games. But then put in the most minimal effort when it comes to the video complaining about Hollywood and video games. I'm not saying I'm the greatest editor on the planet, but God damn it, at least I'm trying. If I'm going to say some shit, I'm going to put a little something into it. They're like, it, it looks like he gives some semblance of a fuck. It's like, now I will do a voiceover and we will look at an article. Hollywood is trash. Tune in tomorrow when I do it again. Woke. Oh, yes. Woke. They hate us. I'm like, God damn it. Everybody hates everybody. They, they want our money. Now, I have family members that hate me. I'm proud of it. Uh, on that note, let's talk about the Super Chats. People giving us money. <laughs> God bless these motherfuckers here. <laughs> little background music for it. Steve DeLon with the $5 Gundam. That nerd that said your editing is trash is wrong. It's mid. He's gone, too. Gone. Well, thank you. For your five dollars, and since you're at least neutral on me, you shall evade the ban hammer. But believe me, Rotsy is watching you like a hawk, like a fucking fed. You slip up, he's gonna be all over you like white on rice. What what music is this? It's so fucking loud. I'm gonna do drop a mixtape. Here, you wanna do this one instead? It's like SoundCloud rapper beats. That's Mar that's uh that's our boy Snortwave. Well, without DSP over it, I feel like a SoundCloud rapper. Next one. David McFarlane gifted five memberships. Thank you so much. God Breck, bless you, sir. Break 1990 with the two dollars. GPO2 is my favorite mobile suit. Oh, wreck GPO2. Zygion. He already Zigzion. You sorry. you already know about the uh, GPO2 third party kit, man. I fucking ordered that shit from Gun. Damn it, you owe me a sponsor spot, you fuckers. Now, you know, bro, my kit is still not here. They're like, hey, you might get it, you know, I'm not. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? DBR, DB, DBON RP with the $2. Thanks for Fluffy. I placed it proudly on my shelf. I need to like do a post on Twitter so everyone can show me their Fluffy, please. I need to show it to an ex-girlfriend to let her know that even my dog's more popular than her porn site. Woo! He's in the mood to fuck with people. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, everybody tag. It's a gun to mark our quality content. Hashtag quality content. And then we'll be able to see it. Uh, Raz and Taz with the $5. Invest this wisely. <laughs> I am. Let me check my investments right now. Bitcoin dropped pretty low. I should have got a little bit more. Daddy is looking to get rich. Lulu Ford, been a member for two months. Squatters can take your house in NYC and the cops uh, will arrest you if you do anything. We, we, I have uh, that video, by the way. Hold on. It's a sign to leave New York immediately. Okay, let's pause this for a second. <laughs> I am so fucking sick of what's going on in my state, bro. You don't even know, Lulu. You have no idea. Like... I'm wishing to God Punisher was real. <laughs> Where's Frank Castle when you need him? This state is going to shit. Like everybody with money with like two dimes to rub together is leaving New York. Unless like they're hyper rich. Cause you can't fuck with the hyper rich here. Like you try and squat in a rich person's house. You go missing. But I hear you. I'm trying to get out of here, dude. That's why the live streams are happening now. Apparently uh, live streaming's the big thing that children like. The, the, the house they're talking about NYC, that was a $2 million house. I heard about that the other day. I actually got Wait, the they're taking $2 million houses yeah, now? Yeah, they bought, it was a, a man died and he had a caretaker that lived in the house and the people bought it for $2 million, but the man inside said that the man that died said he could live there forever. So he just squatted and when the people came to get in the house, they arrested the people that owned the house. A fucking Kathy Hochul. Ugh, ugh. Why? Why did why did she get in? You know what? Hold on, I'm I'm gonna pull that up. Fuck this. New York liberals, man. I swear to God, a New York liberal will fuck themselves just to stick it to a Republican. And I'm not even a Republican, but for fuck's sakes, we need Cuomo back. This is what happens when you let women lead. I'll, Ever I'll, since I'll, that chick has gotten in office, things just get routinely worse. Hold on, I know exactly what it is. It's in my. Socialism is already here, my friend, in New York. 
got ALC interviewing someone like, did the president commit a crime? And he's trying to tell her yes. And she keeps interrupting. I'm like, someone hit her in the head with a brick. Fucking A. She's a dishwasher. Why is she there? Why did people vote for this? Fuck. You know what? New York is going to be the next Detroit. It's coming. I got to get out while I can. And then when New York turns into Detroit, I'm going to fucking dunk on it while I'm wearing cowboy boots with the Texas flag on them. What's this? Del, you're getting arrested right now? I'm being arrested. For what? For paying your taxes. For being in my own home. That's what no. happens, honey. <laughs> fucking. Ugh. You pay your taxes, this state screws you. Someone she, screaming, it's the wrong story. His ace is very upset. But there, I can pull up the second one, too. Oh, God, more but, pies ass. Get that out of here before I lose it. Remember yeah. when they showed that and I told you? Watch, the next thing that happen is women will be streaming through their tits. And I'll be damned if a VTuber wasn't doing it. Oh, I've got them all. I've, we, no, I'm not watching later. it. I'm we're not watching because no, every time I get in trouble for misogyny on the stupid site, they're like a uh, target harassment or something. Harass these nuts. How about that? <laughs> All Catch right, me get, outside. <laughs> let's get back. Uh, you put on Chaplin with the $10. Only live stream I watched, to be honest. Thank Someone. you. Yes. Haskell the Rascal with five. Take it easy get on the rascal. vitamins today. <laughs> Plastic <laughs> robot. Here's five dollars for more of this glorious quality content. I'm not on a single vitamin, even though the temptation is clear. I just measured the amount wrong. I took too much um zinc. Terrell, actually with the two dollars, can you watch the 1990 X-Men Japanese opening one? Dude, I've watched that opening countless times. It's it's like Jim Lee's art came to life. Why isn't the Japanese doing X Men? Uh, I'll pull it up uh, when we get a get the, we get a little second. Dynamite. No, you pull it up. It's just going to be depressing, dude. Oh, we'll, we'll probably claim too. First yeah, chance that. to catch. First chance to catch you live. I got to support getting that Avatar shirt. Forty five isn't too much for represent. Thank G. Oh yeah, the store. We need to plug the store. Oh yeah, I forgot I had a store. Hold on, you got the link. Um. It's on my last yeah, video. It's on uh, the the video beforehand. Um, I did okay with the shirts. I found the price to be a little steep, so I have foregone my cut of revenue. So now my designer will be paid. I'll get less to none, and the shirts will be cheaper. How's that sound, baby? Where's my cheers? I'm gonna have to get my own soundboard. <laughs> Yo Gundam, love your stuff, son. You need to game stream on YouTube. It'll make you some cash. Get on Hell Divers 2. You shrieking like a prepubescent girl. When Bile of Titan kills you, would be worth it. Listen, number one, that's called a war cry. That's what you need to understand. That high pitched squeal lets my enemies know that I am as dangerous as any other natural predator. Uh, JFA with the ten dollars. Have your fun, it's a gesture, but get some damn music out so I can pay for it. Pay you for it. <laughs> Stay safe and party up. Okay, listen, the music thing. I talked to my bandmates, uh, I tried. It's Every time I bring it up, it's like people just sort of like, they ghost me. I'm like, okay, let's rent out a studio, let's do this. Boom, everyone vanishes. Everyone vanishes. But someone's crazy ex-girlfriend comes to his house with a gun, all of a sudden everybody knows my number. I forgot to get him a bulletproof vest. I just put in the uh, store in the chat. It's gundosgarage.com. I probably should have put that in the street. Can I pin it from here? You, God damn uh, it. Yes, you can. you can. No, I can't pin it from here. I have I'm to gonna, pin it from I'm, YouTube. Pin it on YouTube on the top chat. I'm going to give it to you in our DM. Nah. There you go. God damn it. Now I got to go wander around and just try and play rock we'll just music. just do that. Eponis Chaplin gifted five. Thank you so much. Orc Lord's been a member for two. Damn, that's some S tier daily show monologue. That shit was hot. I, mean, I don't feel like it was hot. It was me being me for a minute and it'll bite me in the ass later. People are going to be like, wow, Gundam, I didn't know you're an asshole. And I'm just going to go, you know, it's all an act. Okay. Joker's discipline with the $2. Gundam's editing isn't shiny and chrome, it's mediocre. And we got another band. There we go. <laughs> see ya. Mediocre, let me see you sit here for fucking 20 hours staring at this shit while you're on a timeline, too. It's like, oh, it's a 24-hour news cycle. You gotta hurry. 
RX Animations with the two pounds. If you want a reason, a reason to live, watch Garen Logan. Garen Lagoon. Garen Lagoon. Sorry. I'll learn this one day. Scarlett Griffin with the $20. Working on my motorcycle. Make me laugh, clown. Well, uh, one day you'll be eating the bugs with your government rations and they will have electric, oh, what do they call it? Digital currency. So make sure you never use your money for anything other than they deem fit. The digital dollar. It's coming. Time to move to Argentina. Jay Neptune with the $5. We need more schizo rants. <laughs> schizo rants. How dare you? <laughs> Godzilla95 just became a member. Thank you so much. Grimlock1975 has been a member for one month. Gundam, <clears throat> if you're so intent on speed running life, give the Isle of Man Isle of Man TT race a try. Oh, I that, yeah. It. I kind of want to try that, but I'm pretty sure I'd be far too slow because I'm not going to hurl myself into someone's brick wall to prove a point, you know, to try and catch up with Guy Martin. Get the fuck out of here. Douglas Kaplan with the ten dollars. Yeah, Money for the vitamins. Vitamins yes. are very important when life is disappointing. Uh, Look Riley at that! Odom. We got a crawl. That's uh, that's our uh, over red super chats. Anyone that donated a red super chat's been on that list right there. Look at this right here. These are, these are the bosses. Riley Odom with the ten dollars. Hey Gundam, thank you for being one of those being one of the people that put me on berserk. Oh, well, I'm glad I can help you. What are the few good things to read out there? Uncle Ant just became a member. Thank you so much. Kappa America 012 uh. with the $10. Vita Money, one of the realest, illest YouTubers who ever put up with doing it. Hang in there, man. We need you. I'm trying like hell to get to a million, but they're making sure it's a slow grind. You see Nerd hit a million the other day? Uh of course I saw that. I said he'd hit a million long before I would, oh, yeah. like a year ago. Shout I know the nerd. game. I'm not blind. I see how it works. Everybody just says, oh, he's paranoid. That's crazy. Nah, he ran, he ran to that million quick. Um, <clears throat> Stephen Marr with the $5. Magical Negroes is just literally black Harry Potter. Listen, Magical Negroes will change your life. I defy you not to watch it. SBZ with the $2. Does Rich have the same vitamin brand as yours? Rich does uh, gummies. I think if Rich was on what I was on, he would go into another dimension. He wouldn't even make it on stream to say anything about anybody. No. Nah. You see what YouTube does to people. You got to take vitamins just to do this job. It twists people up, chat. I'm not going to yeah, lie. If you don't become one of the big YouTubers to hit a million where you can like sleepwalk through a video, man. <laughs> You are clawing, you are climbing, you are fighting, you are hustling for crumbs. And then someone tells you everything you're doing is mid. You got to self-medicate. Jeremy Winfield's been a member for two months. Where can I listen to your music? Sick of waiting for Stu to bless us with my favorite song in the world. That's got to be Blood for Sun. That's a... Oh, you've got I'm sitting release. here like trying to think. Is that not on Spotify? No. Uh, man, I... Man, I barely have time to fucking wipe my own ass. I, I know. I do. He really does, Chad. He has like every day, every hour is pretty much dedicated to something. Well, I get to eat sometimes. I get to sleep. Grandicorn91 just became a member for two months. Gundam supposed my mental at the cost of his own. Thank you, Adam. That's a good Wal point. Wal I am Zach. slowly going insane. With the uh, PLN 50, that's Poli Poland money. From Poland with love, Gundam. Blue-Eyed Samurai was a great recommendation. You got any more? I don't remember recommending Blue-Eyed Samurai. I think it was on the last uh, episode when you were just about to that point of blacking out. There's no way I said Blue-Eyed Samurai. That seems totally different. I might have said Sword of the Stranger. That makes total sense. But then again, who knows what the hell I say when I'm high? I don't remember fuck about that show. Grandicorn and Epota's ca uh, chaplain just did memberships uh i adore these streams so much <laughs> thank you we really appreciate y'all because we every day i think i'm just doing the worst job ever i uh i don't oh, know what to make of what i'm doing anymore feels like i should ride off into the sunset cancer watch 49er with the 50 here's some help for your flea new york fund it is a it definitely is a fun now. We've got to get you out of New York. 
It seems damn near impossible to get a decent loan in a house. Later on this year, I think they're going to bring it down to two, two basis points, but that still won't really get it much below six. <sighs> Jesus Christ, man. Like, the type of money you're paying for, like, a four or $500,000 house now is what you'd have paid for a $600,000 house before Bidenomics. Oh, yeah. It's a million dollars to do 400, and 400 to 500. Uh, God, it'd be so much easier to rob a bank. I'll rob a bank and claim to be a migrant. That should work for me. No hable espanol. I mean, English. It's like, oh, it's just Juan. <laughs> he needed a small loan of a million dollars. Thank you so much, can Cancer Watch 49er. <laughs> Scarlett Griffith just became a member. Thank you so much, Scarlett. Oh, Douglas Kaplan with the big 50. God bless you, Douglas. Every dollar goes to my vitamins. Extra to help with the moving. I plan to move soon, maybe to the mountains. I'd be okay with that. The mountains? Yeah, not for me. I know my luck. I go to the mountains, I'd get killed by a mountain lion or something like that. The, Texas. I think you'd like Texas. Out of all the states, I think... With you. Man, New York is fucking getting stupid. It's turning into Jurassic Park. Like, I went outside. There's vultures outside. Vultures? And they're eating dead squirrels. And I'm sitting here like, it's fucking vultures. It's and then one of the vultures, like, one of the vultures even had a bum leg, dude. So even the vulture was on hard times. Oh, my God. The vultures <laughs> down bad in New York. <laughs> I call him Stumpy. <laughs> Belrog with the 50,000 of some kind of currency <laughs> has been watching you for four years. You're the reason I pick myself up and at least try to live. We Zoomers are bubbled. <laughs> Love from Vietnam. <laughs> wow, a Vietnam Zoomer. I thought, Zoom, I thought like things were better for Vietnamese when it came to like gender relations in life, but I guess I was wrong. Uh, Una Nalio with the $10 did you heard about the based Ireland voting against woke changes to the constitution? Keep women in the house. <laughs> Lol, their politicians are so mad. Aren't the isn't Ireland losing their their country to like immigrants or some shit? Yeah, well, I, and yeah. you can't say anything mean without being arrested. Like you better start voting or else you're going to go to jail. I think they're coming across like the Mediterranean in boats from Africa or something like that. Um, oh, no, good lord. Build that wall. Hell, that wall. <laughs> uh, Echo with the 20 pounds. Greetings from Austria, Gundam. Keep surviving the misery. I just wanted to tell you, you're right about the Warhammer models. I was like, one cheap model won't hurt. And a lot of money later, I'm still here sucking at painting. That's what happens. All it takes is one. It's like drugs. You do a little, and you're like, oh, this is nice. You do a little more later. And before you know it, it's like, well, I got to get on the stream today. I better do a bit to help me get through it. Oh, I got to edit videos for the next two or three days. Better medicate myself with vitamins. Before you know it, you're passing out on stream and everybody's worried you're going to die as if your life really mattered. But I'm talking about mine. <laughs> your you life so may much, matter. Ted. Mine doesn't. Ted, comment with the $5. Everything blows fills mine. Like that one guy from Scanners. Also... Methica, Methica's parents told her on stream to stay in Casper. We're going to talk about that, chat. I don't even know who the fuck that is. She's talking about Jessica, it, uh, Gundam's girlfriend, oh Queen, my. Queen Cobra. What I did you say? I have a whole segment. I have a whole segment planned. Did you say Gundam's girlfriend or something? No. Queen Cobra? Did I say Gundam's I'm Cobra's girlfriend. Yeah, you're close to Firehood. <sighs> like, uh... Uh, why do we have uh, why do I have to watch that it's I've completely hilarious. detached it's, I'm going to have to give a headphone warning too because it's bad it's a bad meltdown oh. not Neo with the $10 yo Gundam love your stuff have Tim for whatever you need <laughs> oh and have you got the GPO2 from Solomon yet bro I had to order it off another Chinese proxy site that was so shady I couldn't order it with a box dude <laughs> So I'll have it in like little bags. Rude dude reviews for the two dollars. Slang Gundam duality, or I guess quality content is where it's at. 
Thank you, Hell sir. Yeah. Maverick7508 with the $2. Sharing DMs is more of an Ackman thing. Fuck it. Share the DMs. <laughs> <laughs> Guess Share them, Phil. Drop them. Guess what? I, I'm, I'm going into my villain arc, and I'm letting everybody know now. Like, it's happening. My give a damn broke. I don't care. Share a DM. Burn it all down. This all sucks. We're all going to hell anyway. So put your head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye. Phil. Share the DMs, roast Jay, do whatever it takes to succeed. <laughs> Fucking divorce on, cat. Then, then come on the show. So we come on the show you. and announce that you're divorcing cat. <laughs> <laughs> I need the view. <laughs> Dave Leno with the five. Love you guys. Love you too, bro. Just bros loving bros, bro. Sebastian Anon with the ten dollars. Stunning and brave. Thank you. I'm doing what needs to be done, Sebastian. John O'Rourke with the five dollars. Any follow up on Mike Klum after he called you? After he called that DSP would be back out on him. Pretty sure you pushed that over the edge with that hilarious interview. Man, listen, Mike Klum ain't never speaking to me again. Like, let's—he's working with Eat That. Oh fuck, EDP, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I think this—I don't know what the fuck to make of that. It's not exactly the move that I would have made. It's like, I can't get dark side fell. Time to look for the local sex offender. <laughs> <laughs> we need that one YouTuber that was thrown off for being a pedophile. Great. Great. I don't think content. we can say that, you know. We're far into We're like an hour into the stream. They That's what you about. think. You sit we'll here see. chastising me for passing out on last stream. And then you're using the no-no words. I had people calling me up for, for Tangle calling me up and said, you're gonna check on him later on, right? You're gonna call him later on. I'm like, bro, what do you want me to do? I live in Florida. <laughs> exactly. By the time you get here, my ass would have rotted. The dog and cat be eating me. Ryan Sims has been a member for three months. Walt Disney and George are losing their minds. That's been happening, man. Like, uh, I don't care if George Lucas endorsed Disney. I don't. He already sold fucking Star Wars. As far as I'm concerned, he already killed it. You know, it died the day he signed it over to Bob Iger. And if you watch that tremendous video where he's signing it over to Bob Iger, you can see in his fucking face, his soul was dying. I don't even know why he did it. Like, isn't he already a billionaire before then? He was close to it. Yeah, and like, just bro. Just Lucasfilm, but Lucasfilm and LucasArts. Probably close to a billion. Oh, my God. Maverick7508 with the $2. Disney rushing stuff before the board vote in April. <laughs> Man, I hope Disney dies. Hey, that that's right. just It looked like they. It looked just exactly the like eye on the casting call. Like it looked exactly like a show that would be f like headed by a woman that's a lesbian. That's what it looked like. It looked like something someone with no creativity would come up with. Oh, there's a lot of women and they're powerful. That's all you really need to know. Fuck it. Chaos with the five dollars. Papa G, according to Phil, his streams are dying, but yet Baldur's Gate is taking too long to beat. Your thoughts? Again, Duke and Dusty say Konichiwa. Ah, Watashiwa. That's probably wrong, actually. I'm flipping out here. Um, as far as DSP is concerned with that, like it, it's his channel has been dying for a long time. He's really boring right now. I would suggest to Phil to like strategically leak some wild shit yeah. to drum up some interest. You know, just leak something crazy about yourself and make it seem like you didn't do it. And then be like, what? The trolls did it again. You do something. Fuck. Godzilla 95 with $2. DSP looks like a jaded high school teacher. He does, doesn't he? He's a jaded substitute teacher that comes in because the students beat the last teacher damn near to death. <laughs> and he can't say which students did it because it would be like anti-diversity. Razzantaz with a five. The U.S. should just conquer Canada. There we go. But Conquer but Canada and then what? what? What will we get out of that? What's in the deal if we took Canada? We already got enough as it is. What's good in Canada that's left? K-Thought Swiss donated five. Thank you. Sonic <clears throat> J did with the five. Is Pokey Thought your ideal woman? Did you once have a passion for her? Hell no. I found Pokimane boring until, like, she went after me. That's when I found her interesting. Like, ah, the, the mask slips. I see who you really are. You're one of the mean girls at high school. The type of girl that would, like, set up someone beating you up 
and then pretend like she was surprised it happened to you and then go to the lunchroom and be like, hey, everybody, um, it was really not cool what happened at Gundam when the jocks beat him up. And I talked to my boyfriend about it and that was really mean, Tyler. Well, hopefully, you know, this won't sour you on blah, 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 blah. That sort of energy. Uh, that transport of the five, you should stream Dragons and Dogma 2 tomorrow. I got to edit tomorrow. I got to edit as soon as I get off this shit, actually. Yeah. That's the reality of my existence. Then I'm told I'm garbage. <laughs> Seriously, Chad, like I have to schedule these streams for him. His day is so packed. Like I'm like, I need two, I need two to three hours. I hate these streams because it takes through two to three hours I could have for free today. And that's all I thought about. Like, man, what I could do with that two to three hours. Oh boy. This I could go out for you, Chad. This is I had to try to get this show made for a year because I knew that his fans wanted a, a live stream. And we had to figure out where to get it. He does this for the fans. Period. I understand why I show speed like just throws his head to the fucking camera when he's done. Ryan Sims with a two dollars. What's your cash app? I want to save Gundam. I don't have a cash app. They were asking for the StreamYards link earlier oh, I today, forgot about and I told that. them next show, next show, we'll we'll set it up. God damn it! You gotta be put up the like T-shirts, and I forgot the stream link. I can only pin one thing. We'll do it next show. Fuck it! You can find my stream link in my Twitch page if you really want. You know, that's all I'm saying. It'll pop up on your screen. It won't pop up on mine. So remember, it won't pop up at all because it's not linked to this. Oh, okay. Well, then there you go. Uh, just a couple more. Stephen Moore with the five dollars. Honest game recommendation. Check out Warhammer 40k Bolt Gun. No. <laughs> <laughs> Unless like it's a book, then I'll check it out. But if it's Warhammer figures, I'm not buying one. I'm not. I've already got a Gundam collection that's retarded now. I can't go down any more rabbit holes. I'm already looking at a new motorcycle because Yamaha is going to discontinue the R1. So it's like if I don't get an R1 now. It's over unless you get a track version that you can't ride on the streets because putting lights on it would be a real cunt. And New York State is gay as shit. Uh, this doesn't follow the emission laws. Emission my balls. How about that? You want me to drive electric the day I die? Sorry. Nah, we're <laughs> cool. Gun Gray with the AED-10. Hello, Gundam. Greetings from the UAE, Dubai. Big fan. Whoa. The UAE. Ah, I'm big into Dubai. That's where all the e-girls get pissed on. Is that right? Yeah. Cool. Maverick, <laughs> 75 08 with the $2. Fed's going to start taxing investments. Careful. What? Is that true? It's been true. They've been Wait, taxing, for like crypto. They've been taxing oh, our yeah. money since, the, since day one of this country. I forgot. Capital gains tax, right? Yeah. And then with crypto, I also get taxed as well. Yeah, that's New York gains. State, bro. I was going to no, buy it. income. They had up. Bitcoin for 16 grand and I was going to buy one. But this is years ago. And New York State blocked me, bro. I signed up all this shit. I'm like, I'm going to get a Bitcoin. And then they fucking blocked me. And it's like, sorry, it's not in your region. Ugh, I could have made a, what, 50 grand? Fuck you, yeah. New York. You would have made more because you probably would have bought more. Ah, uh, there goes dang. my house. Super Dank 503 with the $20. Here's 20 to replace those vitamins those home invaders took from you. The home invaders didn't take the vitamins. They broke into my house. And then they took the vitamins out of my my vitamin thingy, my Flintstone vitamins, because I love Barney and Fred. And then they replaced my vitamins with narcotics. I didn't know. So I took too many Barney Rubbles and passed out <laughs> last stream. <laughs> Uh, nah, dude, like NordVPN will not get you out of that because these fucking stupid sites now, like Coinbase and whatnot, because in New York State, they make you put your driver's license in there, your address, they, they got to figure out what street you're on. Bro, it's like invasive. Sorry. No. Uh, JO3X91 with the $20. Love you, man. Watching your vids always puts a big smile on my face. Thank God someone is enjoying my magic that I give to the children. Clyde dashing with the $10 for the Gundam Refugee Fund. That's what we need to call it. I want to live in Florida, actually, because the, the chicks are hotter. Yeah. But a nice house in Florida is just so expensive. Yeah, you got to have at least like 400. 
to get one with a garage because I know you yeah. have to put the truck. And you, you only get like one floor. It's not two floors for four hundred, yeah, right? No, they, they do have two uh, two story houses, but normally they're on the beach or close to the beach because you have to build like 10, uh, 12 feet above sea level. Yeah, so, so when the water the comes. Start on, yeah, they always start on the second level. Yeah, I need a house that has like a staircase so I can slide down the banister. <laughs> I looked at one the other day that had an elevator. Nah, that's wanted, how Prince died. I don't want an elevator. It. it was bad. McP with the ten dollars. Hello, it's a Gundam. I just wanted to thank you for the quality content. Also, as a Gundam newbie, where would you recommend I start? The only show I've watched is Iron Blooded Orphans. All right, go watch uh, the video I recommended today that I reviewed. Uh, 0083. It's not a good starting point, but it'll be something to get you hooked and make you more interested. Okay. And uh, last one for right now, Akai on Grande with the ten dollars. Hi, Daddy G. Excited that I just got my first MG, the Wing Gundam Zero, version KA. Verka. On, oh, Verka. Plan on listening to your live streams while I'm building him. Uh, I enjoy the ride because I wonder which Verka is it. Is it the newest Verka? Or the, yeah, it must be the Wing Gundam Zero Custom with the new wings rather than the other Verka that had the glory to the loser body design. But we're just not going to split hairs here. All right. Now I'm going to uh, – not going to torture you with this, okay? And I yeah, do want to give a, head, a headphone warning to the chat. She screams in this. Uh, and I'm going to keep the volume low, but at some points I want to bring it up so, so you can hear her mom, because let me give you context to this. This is Cobra's girlfriend. Her name's Jessica. Queen Cobra now, she's known. She is going, getting ready to go to Casper. This is the day, this is yesterday, or maybe two days ago. She's been in the bathroom now for two hours on stream, just fucking around in the bathtub like a little kid. Uh, and her mother, she lives look in at her that mother's face. house. She's fucking crazy as shit. <laughs> she lives with her mom and dad, and her mother is pissed off that she's been in the shower for now two hours. Because remember the last time the cops had to come because she almost died. Everybody first. remembers they were here for this shit. Yeah. I'm not going to DSP the chat. I know it's the same people showing up. We're not doing a play by play. Hit the video. Oh, my God. Mom, what's washing my face off? I'm not wasting it. I'm washing my face. I'm I done. now support I'm not wasting abortions it. for adults. I don't peek in here. I'm naked. Oh, look, look at that neck. On. I'm almost freaking done. Oh. I'm not wasting it. I don't peek in Your mom's gonna <laughs> shut the hell up. <laughs> Why are you being mean to me? I'm not even being mean. Because you're 40. What? Look at that face. She looks like Golem from Lord of the Rings. Like, for real. Oh, yeah. I didn't even do anything. Oh, my God. Okay, tell me to shut Okay, let's fast forward to when the mother runs in the room and kicks her in the You're head. You're telling me to hush. I didn't even do anything. I'm washing my face off. This part the right water here. water hasn't been on that long. What are you doing? I haven't done anything to you. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to turn it down here in a second. She's just Why start. are you telling me to shut up? I didn't do anything. Why oh boy, what's going on? Telling me to stop! I didn't fucking do anything. Imagine living with this. Can we like fast forward it to when it gets good? You're gonna call the police and have me. Yes, have this bitch what arrested, have please. I done? This is when her dad comes in, starts yelling in her face. Okay, Where now we get to this stuff. I have not fucking done anything to anybody. Oh my god! 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 Yeah, dad comes in in about 
30 seconds. What have I done? Someone in the chat is like, Josh, please call. What What's Cobra going to do? Done? What have I fucking done? It's like the Reese's the monkey. What have I fucking done? Here comes Pops. Thank God. He's, he's not putting up with What have I done to deserve this? Put her down like a mad dog. I'm asking a question. You can't answer me. What have I fucking done? I'm trying to wash my face. What have I fucking done to you? Stop. I'm in the shut the fuck up. What have I fucking Just shut the fuck up. I've been in the bed. Shut the fuck up. What have I yeah, fucking done? Oh, what have I done? What have I fucking done? Stop! <laughs> what have Chats I like, fucking please don't done? Violate. What have I fucking done? Oh, shit. All right, let's just yeah. move on because that is just too much, even for yeah, my ears. She, what the hell? She, she goes oh. off. Oh, like this, God this goes damn on it. For, for a I long, like, I'm talking you. like 10, 15 minutes, this yep. shit goes on. What have I done to you? The, oh, the same fucking shit. Fucking A, I'm muting that. I've had just about a goddamn enough, and I'm not yeah. even there. So, okay. So, her parents, they, they tell her to say, when you go to Casper, don't fucking come back, right? Like, take mm -hmm. your shit, fucking stay over there in mm -hmm. Cobras. So, she gets to Casper, Wyoming, wherever the fuck it is. And the so, first stream that she has up is with talking about getting an apartment. Wait, wait okay, let's put a pause on this. Hold okay. on. She's already back at Cobra's, terrorizing yes. him. Yes. Bro, you know, you know what's, okay. I was going to send, me and my assistant literally got a sex doll to send to King Cobra. And this oh, motherfucker. That's a great idea. I was going to do it, but this motherfucker did started boning this chick. So now the joke is off. And now I've got a sex doll that like is sitting in a box. <laughs> For a fucking meme that I can't use now. And it's like, <laughs> I want to put it in the trash, but like, it would look bad. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm pissed off on multiple levels. So the hell with Cobra, he got what he had coming since he ruined my joke. And my assistant is like, well, uh, maybe you could give it to one of your friends. I'm like, who's going to take this? Who? If I chop it up, I'm going to look weird too. Fuck. Oh, God. Look at that woman. Look, Look at this. This was her deleted stream from probably last night. She you know, got in last night. If only, um, who's the guy who filled the Lord of the Rings movies? Peter Jackson knew that she existed. She could have been the live action golem, and we would have been like, whoa, the CGI is next level. <laughs> no makeup needed to anything. No face tracking, nothing. Oh, Jesus fucking A. And Cobra's putting up with this. Let this be a lesson, chat. Never get so horny that you're willing to accept anything. Always jerk off before you make a sexual decision. If I was your father, that's what I would tell you. You meet a girl, you like her, but she's kind of a mess. Jerk off first and make sure you have feelings after the wank. With him, he could come over goddamn any fucking time he wants. But I need my own place, and it's nothing against him. Either we get like a two or three bedroom apartment with what money? Have to That's what money. I'm saying. Like she's spending money that she can't even she can't even pay for the water bill, <laughs> and now she's getting a three bedroom apartment with Cobra in Casper. Oh my God! It's a good thing my hands don't work. <laughs> the chest is see. Oh my God! Uh, Cobra doesn't have the mental power to like navigate this situation no i don't see he's done just, this is the end of cobra right she's not leaving she just I, I put money on it she's not leaving casper wyoming this time she's not going back oh it's, so you think she's staying and we're stopped with, i think she's, she's gonna she's gonna sit there and she's gonna be like you saw me fighting with my mom and dad why can't i just stay just uh, let me stay for a month and then it's, it's over with she's so um, dude, I don't know what to make of it. She'll stay until they like break up violently on camera when oh, it yeah, comes to blows fight. or something. They're gonna come to blows, and then Cobra's gonna be in jail. 
So that will be the next Cobra arc. You know, then we'll have like low calls that went to prison. So it'll be Chris Chan, then Cobra, and then DSP for like tax evasion. Yeah. It's going to be wild in the future. <laughs> Locale prison TV. Because one bedroom is not going to be big enough. One bedroom is not big enough. She lives with her she lives with her mother and father, but one bedroom is not big enough, Chad. That's always how it is with chicks. They can live with their parents, but the second they try to move in with you, you got to upgrade to something bigger for them. It happens every time. It doesn't matter if the chick is dumpy or hot. It's always the same. Your car is too old. You don't even have a fucking car. Never mind me. That's, I'm not getting into my problems. Right there. Cost for me to get my furniture here. Now we're moving. Furniture. I just need the monthly upkeep to live on my own, which I've never been able to fucking do. Yeah, that's not a surprise. People... Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've never been able to live on my own because you I can't have... live on your own. You mean you're not mentally stable? What? Oh, I thought you were an upstanding citizen. You, you mean you're not mentally stable when you were beating that mic like a stepchild? So that that uh, light. She's beating a lamp. The lamp. People don't think I deserve money, so except for Bali, she's the only one fucking rooting on my side. So just e-bag it. That that's the life now. Getting a job might be a good start for Jessica. I agree. Whoever <laughs> made this video, this is Bogman Chronicles. Shout out, dude. She can't hold a job. What the fuck is this? Think about it. Where what where, where could she work? Cobra's more employable than her. Think about this shit. A dude with autism. Actually, I would hire him before her. If you told me I had to hire one of them, it would be her over King. It would be King Cobra over her. Oh, 100%. It, She'd just sit there and yell at you and not do any work. Oh, then I, I go to jail because I throw her out a fucking window. Right. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like, I was having to watch this video, and at the very end, she just starts bugging uh, Cobra, <laughs> whose real name is Josh. She just keeps going, Joshy. Joshy, Joshy. Yeah, we, in, we know. In my studio, I'm like starting to cringe because my name's Josh. I'm like, Ugh, shut the fuck up. Like you're dead. Where is that part? This Good. shit. Fucking A. Just got a bill. Ah, I love those emails. The people that don't understand, I don't give a fuck. Yes, I'm at Josh's place. I mean, come on, Josh. Where is Josh, he? Josh, give me a kiss. Look at him. Get over here. Get over here. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Get over here. That's oh, my Josh. God. Is that not god. my kid's doll? Oh, my god. That's trailer trash in an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they buy a trailer and complete the fucking the process? The other one over here. Oh, co <laughs> Cobra's on more vitamins than me. I'm not done I know, I recognize that glazed you know, look I'm anywhere. Like, uh, what am I, AI green set? Like, I got all the tricks in my This little... idea that Cobra can't get a girlfriend, that's the way Oh, is. my oh, God. Yeah. I know. They wow. treat you like... Right. The first thing right. they said got in the Great car job, is... Cobra. Oh, Cobra, you picked up a fucking dumpster <laughs> gutter slide. What a dude. No, Absolute no, Chad. Aww. Oh. Hmm. I know a white guy named... Whatever I get, he's see right. I agree with you. This shit does make me sick. It's putting me off my lunch. Josh. This this makes me cringe. Your Ugh. eyeballs. Ugh. He's dead. Yeah. Mm, you got any more vitamins? <laughs> Wash it down with a drink combo. You don't want to get he's spanking gone. by my, my 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 real running crop. My. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Did she just tell us that What's they're up, having buttercup? sex riding crops? You gotta be 30 deep to find me attractive. Oh. <laughs> you, you gotta be 30 you, you deep to I find her attractive. 30 beers. You oh. all think I look the way I look? Oh. Don't do it, lady. There we go. That's Don't pause, pause right after there. the fucking chat. Look what are you that. doing? Look at that chat. Get that out of here. Jesus Christ. You're killing people in here. <laughs> people are like, ah! squeeze it in to pack it up. I don't give a shit. There's little seizures. I got my garlic cups in half. All the viewers were losing. <laughs> there were people jumping off the, the top of buildings after this shit. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry. 
Jesus Christ, Cobra is so gone. Like food hack, dude. You know? <laughs> it's not about the gun. No, you gotta pack it in tight to squeeze the seed. You gotta seize the day when you squeeze it tight. <laughs> Jess, okay, what is it get funny? Did you see the video of Justin? He hit. I was just showing a little bit of her bullshit. <clears throat> we'll take this one down. Oh, thank Christ Almighty. Jesus fuck. I gotta sit here and watch Cobra. Like every time she shows up, Cobra gets so blitzed that he can barely speak, which means that their relationship can only be sustained as long as Cobra is on more vitamins than me. He has to be completely inebriated. To put uh, up with her. Uh, he has to be totally like halfway passed out. It's so stupid that. that like he's so willing to fuck his own life to own trolls. It's kind of crazy, but it also shows you he has autism. <laughs> he's like a fucking liberal. <laughs> <laughs> More than willing to like vote us all into oblivion to own the chuds. It's the same energy. Fuck my YouTube trolls. Uh, look, I'm getting laid. Can't you see? Look at her. And she's like making these faces like, you don't find me attractive? Like, no, God, lady, like fucking do some sort of neck exercises. I don't even know how you get that shit, man. What the fuck? And you know, her whole body has to sag. Ooh. Oh, God, dude. It's got to be bad. <sighs> so Cobra like hits... Cobra hits some vitamins and then he washes the vitamins down with like straight Jack and yeah. his custom made mead. And he gets so far out of his mind that he can't even tell what he's boning. So he's probably like, Oh, uh, what is it? Fun size Felicia. What are you doing back here? You know, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Joshy. Hey, Joshy. Uh, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> That's probably how they do it. Don't make a noise. Don't, don't talk. <laughs> God All right, damn. this 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 uh, goes good with the Cobra one. This is a story about a man who killed his wife with a shotgun because she uh, cheated on him. No, you can't play that. I'm. I'm he is that the video her. where it, this is totally this is totally fine. This is not. All right, just make the sure you don't part play. about it is he confronts her in a robe and he's butt naked. Now they of blow course. out his dick and stuff. Yeah, but he's sitting there pumping that shotgun while she's filming and saying like, you know, Which are you gonna I shoot don't even... me while I'm filming you? And I don't really think does. you could, bro. Even playing this shit, if it shows him sh it won't, doing it, won't show. It. Okay. This is because even that, even that like blurred out thing. The smart thing to do would be to zoom in, because uh, YouTube's gonna see that and they're thinking I'm selling porn again. That's how I got nailed for like the Twitch thoughts. This man fatally shot his wife, but was sentenced to only ten years in prison. Now there's anger at the all-female jury. We warn you, this video wow. is intense. It's a chilling moment as a husband driven mad with jealousy Bro, stands in his white. driveway. Sixty-year-old. Now, like the fact that he's fat, naked, and his fucking dick is out with a blur is what's gonna get tagged. What the it's fuck? On inside edition. It doesn't matter. YouTube doesn't think I'm inside edition. That's the thing. Good God Almighty! From All one right. mess to another one. All right. Well, I had to rip that shit right down, chat. <laughs> Like Jesus he fucking Christ. He tells her she's going to go meet Jesus. Yeah, we've seen it. It's like two weeks old and then a cockety boom, he got her. Fuck. The smart move would have been to leave because he's crazy. And then his daughter says, my father's not the man that I knew or remember. It's very tragic, but the fuck. wife get The wife gave like, I think $150,000 to her boyfriend. And then he found out about it the day before. Got super drunk and then ended up like this. Only got 10 okay, years though. Okay, so... Okay, now that I have that context, I'd probably start blasting too. <laughs> 150000 dollars doesn't come easy. See, his problem was he did it on camera. Good she lord, you, you're the by time. the border. <laughs> she was sitting there the whole time, like, you're not gonna shoot me because I have this camera on you. And he was like, mm, sorry. <laughs> he's like, guess it. he's like, I don't give a fuck. He put three in her, and then he said, I hope it was worth it. The dude didn't even, he, he, a triple tap. Yeah. That's when you know someone's mad. That's like mafia shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I started blasting. God damn it, David. <laughs> uh, we should have had that clip ready. 
What's the next piece of bullshit you want to subject me to? Oh my god. What did I have next up? Um uh, King Cobra wanted... did buy uh the Queen Cobra ring. We didn't cover that. Oh, I heard about that, but I didn't see it. I was uh getting stuff ready. Uh the thing you were talking about. Where is it here? Surgery. She stole 130. This is the new Twitch meta you were talking about. The green yeah. screen boobies and didn't and I say we weren't supposed to show it because YouTube? You how do you not know how fucked this site is? I've gotten hammered for less. They got me for fucking promoting prostitution in my last Twitch dot video. This is a live stream. They don't. It do doesn't that. matter. I'm I don't you, trust them. They play this stuff at everyone else's live stream. They demonetized the last video for me taking Flintstone vitamins. Well, that was because you know what that was because. Because of what? Vitamins? No, the cussing. It was the cussing in the very beginning that got it demonetized. I and can't I remember that. Can we get a copyright claim too? Hell no. I know how to navigate this shit. The second I do something I think it might be copyright, I chop in a snip. Get it out of here. Trying to copyright me? Trying to get my five shekels, motherfucker? Did the Dylan, uh, I forgot to ask you if the Dylan Hell no, I put an end to that too. Oh, okay. Dylan's not getting what I've Fucking had to suffer. They hit you for, for three seconds of Dylan. No, I've I've handled it. I made sure that I was not getting hit for Dylan. Okay. God, man, if I knew dressing up like a chick and pretending you're a woman would make me a millionaire, I would have done everything differently. Hey, you guys, it's the days of girlhood. Oh my god! All right, whatever the hell else you got to do, get that money. But then I get caught for not being gay. That'd be on TMZ. Famous trans. YouTuber, it's a gun to caught with a cis woman. Uh, uh. The next one, I guess we could do, uh, when you sent me that uh, Marvel 14, 1943, The Rise of Hydra. Yeah, I sent it because I thought it sucked. <laughs> yeah, I did too. I, I don't give a fuck. Here's some more shit. <laughs> Here you go, chat. I don't recall back Black Panther being in World War II, but he is now. Yeah. They're in fact, I saw more black people in World War II than I saw <laughs> white American soldiers. Like, there's just Captain America. He's the good guy. But it's like a black soldier every five seconds and like Wakanda every five seconds. I don't know. I don't care. I'm so tired. I don't give a fuck about Marvel. Fuck Marvel. <laughs> fuck all this. Searching house to house. If they arrest you too. They will take you to their headquarters, and you will not return. I'm more concerned with a six-foot cat man who's got claws that can cut through vibranium alloy. By my count, that makes two Wakanda super forever. soldiers loose in Paris. Three, counting you. And that's two too many. Be there before the sun rises, before the Germans, before that American. The eye of force has been found. Please, just stick to the rooftops. Be careful, stand by me. This is like Assassin's Creed, just like a yeah, dude. I honestly, God, don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck no more. Turn this shit down while we're at it. When yeah, I've already watched it once. That's one too many times. Go it's get him, buddy! I tackle this one alone. You may encounter some obstacles. That won't be a problem. Our cat friend is definitely here, too. By the look of things, he's not very far ahead. The American boy is right on your heels. Assassin's Panther, exactly. Who the hell are you? If you wanted us dead, we'd be dead. So what do you want? Answers. That's far enough! Stay out of my way! Stand aside! I do not take orders from anyone! I don't have time for this. Neither do I.
fucking do. Wasn't Namor with Captain America and Bucky during World War II? Who cares? Who cares about comic book continuity? Forget it. I'm stupid. Forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this. Get it out of my face. Get it out of my face. <laughs> They're like, Leslie hey, Headland wrote it. I'm like, so here. what? Who gives a shit? I don't care. I'm I'm tired. I'm just tired. <laughs> like, it seems like it's more focused on... It's 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 World War II where Captain America's character was created, and he's pretty much like that's his staple point that solidified him as an American hero. But we're more focused on Black Panther, who's randomly here for what reason we don't know, but we'll find out later. Guess what? Tired. You've done it too much. You've done it too much. My God, I can't. I can't do it anymore. Well, you know we got to talk about X Men ninety seven now. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. How about that? I watched it. And the best way to sell X Men '97 is uh, member berries and nostalgia. And for every few minutes that's all right, that actually is tolerable, the rest of it is dialogue that's obviously been written by people who have today's fucking mindset. Jubilee's like, "Come on, bestie!" No, wait, no. Jubilee was like, "Oh, Magneto and Captain no, Charles Xavier used to be besties, but then they had a falling out. We're in the danger room, and it's just like, fuck this, man." And Wolverine hanging out with the kids for a minute there. That was stupid, too. I yeah, just wasn't. can't. And Morph, dude, Morph fucking sucks in this. Like, they bring him in to be, like, funny, and he's not. It, it just made no he, he felt like a character they added that was unnecessary at this point, which is weird. Was he because, always, uh, like, able to recreate the mutant's powers? I thought he was He just... can, like, he can recreate, create, like, what they look like. But I don't know how the fuck... He does like powers. They don't make sense. I don't remember it like that. Yeah, but me this neither. fucking it. Oh yeah, Magneto's speech at the end. Yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> Storm no longer <laughs> wears high heels. She now wears fucking platform boots like Gene Simmons, bro. Like oh, God forbid Storm have femininity. And I hate the haircut. It's like the 80 Storm haircut that only lasted for a short period of time, the Mohawk. Yeah. Whatever. Play this got, garbage. Just play it. Let's all oh, pretend. There's no we love play it. it to this. Like I can pull Good. up like the, <laughs> I can pull up the, the preview for it, but I can't play anything from the show. Just yeah, skills. Magneto's like talking about, <laughs> you know, he was alluding towards the the alphabet mafia, and I'm like, Magneto was never like pushing for the alphabet mafia. <laughs> Magneto was focused on mutants. Like Magneto was like, are you a mutant first? So <laughs> it just made no sense. It really didn't. Because I could picture if we had, like, uh, people at LGBTQ that were mutants, they would probably prioritize being LGBTQ before being mutants, and that would bother Magneto, in my personal opinion. But I could be wrong, dude. Uh, this is the trial of Magneto suit, for those who don't know. First debuted in X-Men... Uh, Uncanny X-Men 200, I think. Uh, 1985 or something. So it's kind of weird that we're doing this story, which happened before Jim Lee's X-Men, which is what the X-Men 90... X-Men cartoon was based on was Jim Lee's run, but this is like before then. But on the other hand, technically Magneto did wear this suit sometimes in the 90s run when saying something diplomatic. But fuck it, we're cutting hairs. Who go, who gives a shit? But who I don't know if he, I don't know if he wore it during season three of the original. No, he I mean, never season, wore it. Yeah, I don't I didn't think so. I don't remember ever seeing it. Let me give a couple. Uh there's also uh looks like Magneto and Rogue. Probably be uh, yeah. They did have a. They cheeks. did have no. They already done it before. Magneto and Rogue have had a relationship. It has bothered Gambit. I'm kind of surprised that they're putting it in here, in my opinion. But I guess they need some sort of something. Like I don't know a love who, triangle because we're. I don't know who this show is day. supposed to like really go to. I guess like if you really love X Men, um, X Men written by communists. Well, it was written by a gay dude who was doing OnlyFans. Am I correct? Yeah. That's why. That's, he got why, fired a day that's why they can't hit that. Released. Who the fuck does that? You're writing the X Men cartoon and you're still doing bussy videos. Like, excuse me, <laughs> where's my pillow to scream in? For fuck's sakes, you know, God. Uh, like, what the hell's going on anymore? And I heard the Kotaku journalist did like um, some adult work too. Recently, which oh, the. It, the, the one, one that, that went on that blurred show. Yeah. Alyssa Marcante. Yeah. She seems like the one, like the type. I, I don't know for sure, and I'm not going to triple check. Yeah. Guess what? Don't care to know. Allegedly, some people don't get upset. Craig from Side Scrollers called her out 
the other day on his stream. I thought that was funny. <laughs> what do you do? Challenge her to a fight? He said, if you want to come on here, you know, you need to answer for your article. <laughs> for, the uh, trial of uh, Alyssa McConti. Right. Well, I'll watch if she shows Carutus. up dressed like if she shows up dressed like uh, Magneto. I'll watch. <laughs> there you go, Alyssa. That's another one that can come on our show and get roasted. OnlyFans is not the cash cap grab gold rush, my dude. For brash, OnlyFans no. for a very select few. You got to be like in the top zero one percent to make you any have real a money. Following outside of OnlyFans for that shit to work, you just and that's like why all those girls up. are on fucking twitch because that's how they advertise their only fans i predicted this years ago that it would be a pipeline to pornography and don't get me wrong i'm a filthy degenerate but there has to be some lines drawn in the sand you don't shit where you eat oh well anyway x-men um if you're easily amused you'll probably like it it has some moments that are good, and it has other moments where you're just rolling your eyes the whole way through. Like, oh, man, really? The Sentinel I, scene, too? That was trash. Yeah, I didn't like that. I thought that was going to be a little bit better. It was so, oh, my God, the laziest writing. There's something about writing. the action in here. This, it seems choppy. Like they, I know they made it Dude, look it's like the 2D, whole animation. Dude, it's 2D, 3D. The, they outsourced this shit to Asia, and they used 2D, 3D, computer-generated bullshit. It's the same crap they use for Archer. I don't know why people thought it'd be that's, animated. That's the show I was trying to think of what it looked like. That's what it looked like inside that rave. Oh God, that was real bad. That yeah. was when the animation was like 15 frames. Yeah. I'm like, what is going on here? I was checking my GPU. <laughs> it's like 97 means rave, bro. Had the glow sticks and everything. They had this character. Dude, Hold they on. don't even know what 97 was like. I'm pretty sure 97, like there's still rock bands. That would have made more I sense. I graduated in 97. There wasn't nothing like that. All right. What was going on in 97? It was rock bands, right? Let's see here. It was grunge. We Limp were doing Biscuit. a little electro. No, that's a little bit closer to 2000, like 99. We were doing a little electro, but we weren't doing like full on raves with glow sticks and shit. We're doing ecstasy. Don't get me wrong, but not glow stick raves. Yeah, that was a very gay scene. Ugh, I hate X Men. I can't believe it. I just can't anymore. I haven't. Seen I shouldn't say I hate it. It had its moments, but overall, you could tell what the message is and what it's about. Let me see this. Let me pull up this character because I'm confused oh. about this character. I hope someone can help me figure out why. I, this I think character. I've seen his character before, but he didn't look like that, and I don't care to like go through my comics to to remember or find out. I don't care. He I just has, like get solar, solar powers, but he's also the son of a billionaire. He he introduces himself as a rich tr a rich trust fund kid, which yeah, I thought like, was really weird. Weird, for yeah. Latin. To constantly like remind you he's too. rich. Listen, it's written by. It's written by who cares? It's Disney. It's Disney Marvel. It's written by Disney. It's another skin shoot cell show, where uh. They tried, they tried out something that we all used to like and then hope to God we just accept it wholeheartedly. Get this out of here. Somebody called him a Hassan <laughs> self-insert. That's actually very that's, accurate. That's actually very accurate, actually. They turned that character into Hassan, which makes Look, him insufferable. He has a business card. Look at that. Of course. Who does that R in the Robert 90s? De Costa. Here's my business card in the 97s with the, with the say by the Bell uh, – <laughs> Font. Yeah, that's that's a totally an '80s font. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> it's Call all me. right because I'm Roboto de Gasta. Get this out of here. Trash, utter garbage. It has its moments, but they're few and far between. Like this, the short times you go, okay, this is cool, and then immediately somebody starts talking, and it reminds you it's about today's bullshit, and you're like, Ugh. like when uh, what's uh, Saber Two Sun called? Is it Victor Creed? It can't be. I, I can't remember. I don't, I don't remember. The only part that I actually enjoyed was like in the very beginning of the Sentinel fight when they got ripped out of the uh, the X wing for the X plane. <sighs> yeah, that and was cool when, for when five Cyclops seconds. When Cyclops fell and he used his light uh, his light vision to just brace himself, that was cool. But other than that, I didn't really, <clears throat> I didn't see anything cool. Well, anyway, um, Creed's son <laughs> basically is. Uh, He's beating up Cyclops, which was kind of weird because all of a sudden this dude is like, he's total military all of a sudden. He went from just being a figurehead to just beating the crap out of people like he's Punisher. And while he's beating up Cyclops, he's like, 
you know, we're tired of you people always with the whining. And I'm sitting there like, yeah, that sounds familiar. That's kind of what we say about a certain group of people now that constantly whines. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, I see what you're doing there, you little sons of bitches. They turned the Friends of Humanity into basically Trump members. Yeah. Oh, and they had an insurrection. They even said Oh, it yeah. That. The insurrection. Yeah. yeah. It's just, oh, man. They mentioned they were like, there was an insurrection today at the Capitol, or not the Capitol, but the trial or whatever. See what like, happens mm. when you let woke whites let it go. Let it go. The MAGA Friends of Humanity. Let's just calm down and chill out before we say things that get me in trouble. All I have to say is uh, the show is just very mid. Um, I was also going to say it's odd that Sabretooth's son is so badass now. Because right now in Marvel, in the current run of Wolverine, Sabretooth's son killed a whole bunch of Sabretooths from other dimensions because he hates his father. Obviously, we all know that. So it's kind of weird to me that Sabretooth's son is that badass in 97. But he's that badass now. In it's like a hodgepodge of things going on. I can't do because if you try to break it down, I have the same sort of mental um, breakdown when I think about the Avengers movies, because when I think about the Avengers movies and the Infinity War, I'm just like, it's all discombobulated and out of place. Like, why is the Civil War happening before the Infinity War? Like, what the hell? And you got to like not think about it. <laughs> This was the part where Jean Grey was about to have her baby, and the doctor was like, the we're, doctor not gonna is, we're not going to give her a C-section. Because she's a mutant. Yeah, right. Like, they're so bigoted. Like, come on, man. It wasn't really like that in the last show. It's just too on the no nose, in my opinion. And they're really kind of like, it's very modernized, is the best way to put it. And it's X-Men 97 for modern audiences. Exactly. I also didn't understand when Jean, uh, when Rogue touched the doctor, how did she... I thought she could only like absorb power and energy. She can only absorb she, power, but she can absorb like your abilities, even if you're human. Even if but, like you're learned, like your learned knowledge. I think, you know, she it did wasn't the C section. Yeah, I know, which didn't make sense. So it's yeah. kind of hard to like really grasp because I know like she could run track and field when she made out with the dude who was like the football star at a high school. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if that made her privy to like his memories. But I could be wrong. I don't know. <sighs> They're taking a lot of liberty. You know what I think Disney might do? They'll do a live action Marvel movie. I mean, X-Men movie and then get Rogue in it so that they can like bring in Brie Larson and have Rogue still Brie Larson's power because she's well, she's supposed to be Captain Marvel at the time. Forget it. Let's move on. No, I'm not okay. breaking down Marvel history. I'll lose my fucking mind. But that'll we, be how they get rid of Brie Larson, I think. We do have to catch up on Super Chats because we've been getting a lot. Since oh, the... Ultra says that her powers said so in the script. OK, I'm sorry. Okay. You're right. My um, mistake. Kino reviews with the five dollars. Where's the three X size selection in your merch store? My fat ass wants to buy the red Gonzo shirt. It only goes up to two X because I need a three X too. I have to contact my designer and tell her to get the little children in Asia to make three X. Douglas Kaplan with the five dollars. I watched Tim Pool talking about that New York squatter that's messed up. <laughs> yeah, it's New York for you, dude. Like New York is really fucked up. More than you know. Uh, the Demon of Cybertron with the $2, you guys had a way out with Lee Zeldin. I don't get right. it. <laughs> I had me neither. Milton Milton with the $5, contributing to your Scrooge McDuck money pool. Stay strong, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Jump into it. We need an animation that makes like you throw up money in the air. when your hands Yeah, I'm working. just going to like roll on a couple bills on the floor and it's going to be a carpet with dog hair. Uh, the kids will love it. Lord Fox just became a member. Thank, Thank you, you, Foxy. Uh, Marcellus Rogue with the $2. What's your top five states? I have top, top two, five. Two or three states. I used to love California until recent years. <laughs> uh, top five states. Anywhere I can go where I don't have to pay as much tax as I do in New York. That's my top go. five. Where it's warm and there's hot chicks. Florida. And man. there's like no homeless people begging for money. Like I went shopping. And uh, there was homeless people sleeping by the sushi section. She made it really. I just, I, was, I don't need sushi that day. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, a, a, I'll be with the $10. When are we going to see the real man behind It's a Gundam? People have seen my face countless times. It's just most people prefer this version of Gundam. So, you know what? Let them have this, you know? I don't give a fuck. 
I kind of like just walking off the second this is done. I can go outside, live my life, be a normal dude. That's how I can stay grounded in reality. It's the fact nobody's walking up to me and going, hey, I fucking love your stuff. They're kind of like, hey, buddy, could you move out the fucking way? And I'm like, oh, yeah, sorry, dude. You know, I was paying attention. You know, I'm very big in China. RJ with the $10. This is my my this is part of my Texas fund. I'm sending you. I'm running from Brooklyn ASAP. Yeah, dude, get the fuck out of Brooklyn, dude. Get the fuck out. You need to get out more than I do. Last time I was in Brooklyn, the roads were so bad, my sports car got fucked up. <laughs> I felt like I was driving through a war zone, dude. I'm like, what the fuck is up with these roads? It's like, bam, 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 bam. And I'm just like, oh, my suspension. And the girl, of course, it's not that bad. It's not. New York is an experience. Yeah, it's a fucking experience. You don't live here. You know, it's all magical. Ugh. Raymond Heard with the $20. I agree. I want to see you run in Helldivers 2. We got to get a, a game stream up for Dude, you one time. let me tell you something. YouTube is my Helldivers. <laughs> okay? <laughs> That's the truth. Benno with the $5. Long time viewer. Started listening to your streams at work. The voices in my head are crazy, but they are right. <laughs> That's what you find out in time. Especially the voices in your head tell you she's cheating. Believe them. They know. Darn Lacey with the $5. Yo Gundam, you make my job working in a hotel a lot easier. By the way, do you have any more stories about Zill's pranks? Nikado Avocado was one. Was hilarious. That was probably like his biggest one. Uh, Ziltix used to spend a lot of time trying to trigger me into flipping out while we were playing games together. Like, uh, he does what you little bastards do, saying my editing is shit. That was, like, his favorite thing to do. Uh, making fun of the fact that I was still in the same apartment, even though, like, I had 500,000 subscribers at the time. He's like, Gundam is living in a house that's falling on him routinely. Yeah, uh, you know, usual sort of ribbing you get used to as a normal person. And the sad thing is, I had more fun then. Tamahamagaji12 with the $10. I got into Gunpla after watching your videos, and now I'm taking out a mortgage on the house to pay for my new addiction. Hope you get out of NYC and come to Texas. You're going to love the food. I would not mind having some good food for a change. The food here is pretty shit. You know what's overrated? New York pizza, dude. New York pizza is way oh, overrated. Oh, yeah, trash. Absolutely terrible. People are fucking gaslighting themselves into thinking it's good. Uh, the the Gunpla addiction is only going to get worse because the second you start going into like the special customized kits that, you know, the Chinese make and shit, because Bandai won't give you what you want. So you got to go to Asia to get it. And before you know, those kits just get so much more expensive over time. And then it takes you a year to build one. The real, uh, real one with $5. I just bought a shirt to wear while I bike. I can't wait to show everyone around town. Hey. God bless you, but... Make sure you're carrying a bulletproof vest. I don't even wear my own shirts around town, to be real. <laughs> okay, and Grande just became a member. Thank you so much. Ah, Grande. Muy caliente. Uh, the Fixer 710 with $5. You're right about New York. I've lived in central New York my whole life, and it's just gotten worse and worse. I need to wall off NYC, turn it <laughs> into Escape from New York. You know, Snake Plissken needs to come on. And I'm all for cutting NYC off of the rest of the state of New York. <laughs> Let's do it. Annex Mo NYC. <laughs> Movie Times Today gifted one membership. Thank you so much. Gungrave you, with the AED 50. Thanks for recommending Gundam 0083. Also, thank you for recommending Kyle's channel. He's a wild animal. A white guy named Tyrone with the fifty dollars. Wait, what? Whoa! I'm kind of zoning bad. I may have mistakenly dropped vitamins in my drink. Whoop! <laughs> the clock is on, chat. Here's some money. I had a shitty day yesterday. My job denied promoting me for a new position, and they told me they didn't want to set me up for failure in corporate language. That means get fucked. <laughs> Even though I've been with the company for 12 years, I love your streams. God Bro, bless sucks. you, Tyrone. I know how that feels. I tried to force my way to F and T back in the day. You dodged Don't worry. Off. This will go to more vitamins. Because I need my vitamins from A to Zinc. Thank you, a white guy named Tyrone. 
uh, Astro Rampage with the ten dollars. El Gon Chapo, I recently exposed my woman to your brand of content, and her birthday Uh-oh. was Monday. Can you tell her happy belated birthday? Her name is Heidi. Hey, happy birthday, Heidi! I'm surprised um, <laughs> your woman stuck around for that. My own girlfriend would leave when I did these sort of things. Ah, oh, she hated me on YouTube. Happy birthday, Heidi. Frosty with the two dollars. MM, your live stream producer of the year. Don't hey, tell him. Hey, look lies. at that. Look at that. Get that chat out of here. Fans. Sarcastic mailman's been a member for seven months. Gundam, you indoctrinated me to the alt right YouTube. How can I indoctrinate you to the alt right? The alt right fucking hates my guts as much as the left. Matt no, Walsh looks down on me. They won't push you on any shows. They won't bring you up in any streams. Oh, yeah. Hell no. Nobody wants me on this shit that's alt right. I don't give a fuck either. I don't care if the alt right don't like me. I don't give a fuck. Alt left don't like me. Who gives shit? I'm motherfucking Inuyasha. <laughs> oh, shit. Douglas Kaplan with the $200. It's the rich chat. don't benefactor. He's back. That's like, whoa, that is a lot of... Thank you for supporting. Douglas. It's only a matter of time before I get out of here and have a Murphy Labs Gibson Les Paul. Stu, you do fine. And this will be it. I've got some place to be. Take care. He's probably not here, but thank you, Douglas. Superman is off to save other people. I'm telling you, he's out there rescuing everyone. Don't get your cape dirty out there, Douglas. Brush some haters off. Avenge 900, be a member for one month. Keep going, Big G. Oh, I'm trying. Lord knows I am. Wreck 1990 with the $5. There's a Gundam down here. I have a confession to make. I'm a console player, and G Gundam is my favorite series. Please don't ban me. <laughs> if you're a console player, listen, I got a PlayStation 5 over here collecting dust. I'm going to give it away to somebody I know. So, you know, here's that. PlayStation kind of sucks. It really does. <laughs> Like, it's so overhyped. Remember the trouble we went through trying to get this shit in 2020? Oh, my God. I had ordered, yeah. like, Chad, I had gotten into an exploit the first day. I had ordered, like, seven. They sent me four. They canceled three. But then after that, I couldn't buy one for, like, a, two years. Yes. Let the chat know that you were buying multiple PlayStations <laughs> and they, they couldn't get my one. family. Listen, they don't care. People will burn you alive for that news. It doesn't matter. The PlayStation sucks now. But the PlayStation Pro is coming out, so get ready for that. Yeah. Another $1,000 console. I can't wait to play Spider-Man Diversity 2. <laughs> you mean Miles Morales? Oh, yeah. You know, it like, Miles Morales worked when he was his own game. Like, that spinoff game they did, it worked in that sense. Because you know what you're getting into with that. But Spider-Man 2, they just, like, ramped that shit up to 1000 Agenda 13 with the 10 pounds. Don't you know, little fool, you can never win. Use your <laughs> mentality, wake up to reality. That's a song lyric. I'm just trying to remember. But my brain is not working right Hold now. I'm gonna, we're gonna... Wake up to reality. Oh, that's um Frank Sinatra. That's Frank Sinatra. Yeah, yeah. Um it's not the tender trap. Uh it's one of those love songs. Hand. Got, That's I it. I got you under my skin. Yeah. Shit. Bang. My brain is slowly catching it. Vex the Black Dragon with the $10. Hey, Gundam, I messed up on my fluffy order, and I put down the wrong address, but luckily they sent it back to the factory, so I'm waiting to get it on there so they can send it back to me. Cheers. Wow, I'm surprised they're doing that. Because yeah. they were really disappointed with me. You only have, like, what? You got 10 more of them? I know you're going to paint a couple of them, but you've got a few of them left. Yeah, maybe one will get painted, but the probability is slim now looking at my stupid schedule. Mm-hmm. We got a full April chat. Saren with the $20. Gundam, come down to join us here in Texas. We may have the migrants coming in, but at least we aren't rolling out the red carpet for them like these clown states. Well, they just like uh, passed the law. The Supreme Court said that Texas can arrest people who cross illegally. So there's that. Fem Tango with the five dollars. No Frit today. What the fuck? Fritz yeah. got his, Fritz got his own little situation going on. He had a nice little. I don't even know where Frit is. He put out a, a tipster video. I think. I don't know. I yeah, I think out. Tipster had some sort of issue with Fritanga or something. But he has an issue for every motherfucker body today. I know. Even Boogie was was 
bombing his ass the other day. It was sad. I don't even. I guess like Boogie needs the interaction. I wouldn't even fucking bother. Musings by Maravel with the Canadian three dollars. Thanks for the stream, boys. Love from Canada. Try to escape Canada as quickly as you can. Yeah. Mikey Guzzler with the $20. Just cross the border and say you're a migrant. They'll let you in. They'll give you a job and a social security number and everything. She could actually do a job. <laughs> I'd know that one. Mikey Guzzler with the 20. I think part of the reason why George Lucas sold Star Wars to Disney was because of all the scrutiny he got from the prequels. <laughs> oh, that's are, true. Red Letter Media and that documentary, The People vs. George Lucas, were some examples of the many attacks against him. But I don't know if he just, like, wanted to give up the entire store just because people were shitting on him for the prequels. I think he just was ready to Maybe cash Maybe because, like, people, I think like, he did catch a lot of shit for the prequels. And at the time, I'll admit I wasn't that fond of him. But I will say he brought me back with that ending fight scene. The best lightsaber duel ever on film Yeah, was, was the cool. Battle of Fates. Now, all the lightsaber duels we get now are so bad. Oh, my God. They're but horrible. looking back in hindsight, those films, at least your Star Wars films, like what we get now, man, I don't know what the hell's going on. Like somebody's smoking crack. Look, it looks like you could see the wire work when they're doing every movie. You know what I'm tired of? The uh, put force push where the other person slides across yes. the floor. I'm so sick of that. Yes. Like do something new. Maybe the bitch trips for a change. Shake it up. Wolf Spain's been a member for one month. From what uh -oh. I heard, it wasn't George that endorsed it, but his publicist, so people that represent him. Doesn't matter, though. Star Wars is dead. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it's still a dead body. Good. I'm glad it wasn't George specifically. Everybody's ready to shit on George. I waited it out. You show me video, George said it. Rob the Dueler with the $20. Hail Gundam, your vids have been lots of, of laughs for years. DSP should play a Gamera... Gamera Guard... No, I'm saying Gamorian Guard Gamorian in the next Guard Star Wars next project. Star Wars. DSP has too much pride for that, though I wouldn't mind seeing it. Could you imagine Phil as a Gamorian Guard? That'd be funny. That would be funny. He was a Jedi. There was nothing I could do, Snort. <laughs> McLeod2486 with the $5. How much you want to bet George's wife forced him to sell Lucasfilms, just like supporting Disney? Might have been the trans daughter he had. Was she trans or was she just LGBT? She might have been just LGBT. I didn't even know he had kids. Like, why would... If I was his trans kid, I wouldn't have him sell that shit. That's like a, a license to print money for the rest of your life. You'd have to be retarded. Yeah, but a billion dollars in the bank is pretty much a license to print money. Okay, you and got you me don't there. don't need the IP. Stephen Delau with the $2. Gundam, you complete me. Just kidding. Dance, clown. Dance. You will see no dancing here. Wolf with the 25, Yo Gundam, what do you think about that red heifer prophecy next month and that eclipse that's coming? What What's this about? What's going on now? Red it's not. Let me, let me look that up. That's if it's not on Adabe, I didn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> if it's not in my fucking Adabe update, stupid thing that pops up like, hey, you got an update. There's a red heifer. This is uh, in relation to Hamas. What? It says uh, they're going to use red heifers to purify the temple. So this is uh, Israel Hamas prophecy. The end of the world, I guess. How many times has the world ended since I've been alive? I haven't kept track. 1999, uh, 2012 was supposed to... You're Gundradamus. You're, you're clocking everything that's coming like months, years before it happens. Yeah, and nobody like takes notice or says shit there's no dextro article gundam right. was right again <laughs> so nobody right fucking again. knows yeah here's my prophecy here it comes things will get worse they'll get stupider they'll get more progressive you'll lose some more rights things will go absolutely so backwards you'll wonder what the hell and why and who do, who do i choke to fix it and then there'll be a new console that'll come out and it'll have some games on it that People whose whole lives revolve around consoles will swear up and down is the greatest thing ever. We'll all be even more confused and disappointed. There might even be some um, relief when it comes to inflation and lowering the interest rates. But it won't be too much to make a difference in your life or mine. 
if uh, the Red Emperor wins the election, hell, things might actually do a little bit better, but not much better. But even if it does a little better, don't worry. The people on the left will still blame him for everything going on now. And then uh, the old man in office now will randomly keel over and new information will come out about Hunter Biden. He'll probably go to jail. Maybe not really. But we're talking years down the line. Time is a circle. Time is a flat circle. Oh, and nothing's going to happen with Sweet Baby. You're not going to change shit. Not a damn like, thing. Literally, what's going to happen is companies will still work with Sweet Baby, but they won't publicize it. That was obviously going to happen. So people sitting there shocked that this other game had that going on. It's kind of like, what, you didn't see this coming? How do you not? It's fucking logical. They might even change the name of the company, but they're damn sure not going to shut down operations. Mm-hmm. Too much money on the table. Dana's cartoonish with the three dollars. When are you bring in Voxus Productions on? I don't heard Vox. of them. Name rings a bell. Professor Tosspot. Oh, I haven't been yeah. in contact with Tosspot in a hot minute. And I'll shoot him an email. EC90 with the two pounds. We hate you too, Gundam. Laughing emoji. Heart emoji. I know. I know. JB I'm that bad removed. father you never wanted. JB Spooky Review with the Canadian 2. How's it going, brother? Sorry I'm broke. Lol. We appreciate uh, it, though. Let me tell you how it's going, my good dude. My family is constantly asking me what the next move is and what I do. And they're like, if you're so miserable, why don't you quit? And it's like, if I quit, who's going to pay for stuff, huh? Huh? I have to give my mother an allowance, dude. Like, what the fuck is that? Dark Side Phil. This is why I don't like Phil. Because he's lucky. DSP is so lucky. Like, if chat knew how bad my luck was, they'd be surprised I'm still here. Darkside Phil goes to his family, complains. Bro, they give him money. <laughs> they send him free food. Bro, I was like, pay. I still pay for my mother and sister's food, right? Because New York State says they have a little too much money to get on, like, some sort of assistance. I told my mother, dress up as a migrant. You know, use your head. So anyway... <laughs> I have to pay for them to eat, you know, whatever. And my mother can't afford her electric bill. So I have to give money to that. That's a pretty big bill. You know, hundreds of dollars got out of my pocket. And I was talking to my assistant. And I was like, well, you know, the situation's a little strange for me. It's a little tough. But hey, I eat for free. And then my assistant goes, if you go to get food there that you paid for, is it really free? And I'm like, oh, shit. Like, I'm retarded. My I forgot blown. my point. It's just... I hate my life. <laughs> my life is gay as fuck. Every dollar that comes in chat is going directly to the fund to get this man out of the, the fuck out of New York. I swear to God. You know, it's like to pay for someone's student loans and they treat you like you're a fucking idiot, but you can't say you pay for their student loans because they're fuck with their little feminist mindset. Stop uh, being a misogynist. Don't say that about women. And it's like, I just want to say so bad. Listen here, you little fuck bad. You'd be in jail if it wasn't for me, all right? Remember when the debt collectors came for your ass? It was my money that mom took to bail you out of jail. <laughs> it was the misogyny that kept you out of jail. Yeah, Put patriarchy kept table. you out of jail. <laughs> McLeod, 2486 with the $5. Texas should invade Canada. Canada has <laughs> unlimited oil. What? It sounds like Canada needs some freedom. Chris Drink Estrada your bottle of water, Fluffy. Chris Estrada with the five dollars. Hey, Gundam, I hope you pick Texas. Florida is getting to break up with someone. Break. Also, I have family in Texas. Oh, I hope you pick Texas. Oh, thank you. I thought you said I hope I pay taxes. I was yeah, about to go into another pick rant. Texas, bro. I paid. This is why I'm stupid, and DSP is almost a genius. DSP avoided paying his taxes like a complete G, because taxation is debt. I overpaid my taxes. And I'm waiting years to get some of my money back for overpaying. And I'll be damned if they won't give it to me. Writing these stupid letters. I need to go to the government dressed as a migrant. <laughs> yeah, and you get everything then. You get a, a, a room, a hotel room. I could be in a hotel room that's nice to my bedroom. My house. Let's not even do this. No. Because now I'm getting triggered. <laughs> uh, EDP with some other words. With $2. Keep my name out of your mouth. Okay. Thanks, EDP. J. Paul with the $10. I heard your voice when I read crap now. Thanks. Love y'all. Fantastic. 
Brian Jenkins with the one dollar. Thank you so much. McLeod twenty four eighty six with the two. A lot of YouTubers have moved over to San Antonio. Ugh. The gun like, YouTubers. All right. Well, I know Austin's been taken over by the liberals. And like Joe the progressives. Rogan. Yeah. I don't want to be anywhere where I'm going to be subjected to liberal policies anymore. Like the past few years of Democrats in New York has just destroyed us. I'm done. I'm over with that. I'll go someplace where it's red. And not because I'm a bigot, but because I want some legislation that works. <laughs> like Florida seems so nice. They Florida catch, is like, nice. They're about their business. Haitians came to Florida on a boat with guns and drugs. The governor DeSantis did something. They fucked up by not going to New York. They would have taken their drugs and guns and told them they were very naughty. Now go wait in line with your soup. We're going to get you a job in the state. <laughs> Red Cap Goblin with the $2. Trans Smeagol. Talking about Cobra's wife. Now. Oh, okay. Stumpy the Vulture with the $10. It's rough out on these streets. It's hard for a pimp. You better not be eating shit. Raging D-Head with $2. Toaster in that bathtub, please. <laughs> Damn, this chat has gone dark. <laughs> Rude Dude Reviews with the $2. You can still use the sex doll Gundam. You got this. Yeah, got no. This. I don't know what I'm going to do with it now. Shadow Television with the $2. Make the doll into an OnlyFans parody thing. <sighs> I'm not going through all that, dude. Make it's it like a weird torso. So I can't because it's like a naked woman's body, but it has oh, no yeah. arms or legs. It's really yeah. weird. Snoopy Diz with the five dollars. Send the doll to Zill. I'm sure. Oh, that's a good idea. Joke. Oh wait, no. Here's the problem. Like Zill's country will cock block me because he'll have to pay duties on it. You know what? Fuck it. He owes me money. <laughs> he owes me a lot of money. <laughs> I'm sending it to Zill, and then when he pays duties on it, yeah. Thank you. Very good work, great Snoopy. Idea. Chris Estrada with the $5. Last chat, auto-corrected. I vote for Texas. Florida is hating on spring break, and I have family in Texas. Miami is hating on spring break. Up here in Northwest, we still tolerate <laughs> some spring break, but we don't tolerate people getting shot on the beach. Like Yeah, did. the reason why spring break went down is this shit turned wild. I saw the videos of it last year and the year yeah. before. They got a curfew now. 12 o'clock, all the bars shut down, all the clubs shut down. This is what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass, Larry. <laughs> Silver Kuru with the 10 pounds. First time catching you live from the UK. Been enjoying your content for years and your music uh, is yeah. great. I'm big in the United Kingdom. We're just worldwide today. Snowbird2701 with the $5. I went to a witch doctor witch doctor and asked for their pronouns they said ooh e i o uh ting ting walla walla, walla, bing, walla bang. bing bang oh come on bird you could have came up with a better one than that wings of gamora mothra shadow the hedge with the dollar thank you raz and taz with the five dollars i mean i can go into more details about what to do with canada after the conquest but i don't want your channel to get flagged yeah i'm already there yeah we were there like a minute eight master shake just became a member Thank you so much. Meth bear in the house. Cobe's got a sweet baby ink design girlfriend. <laughs> That's true. It's very true. Stephen Marr with the two. Cobra's girlfriend looks like Roz from the Monsters Inc. Never saw that actually. She's that little toad thing. It took me literally years to finally see Shrek. Douglas Miller with the twenty dollars. Here's something for the vitamin fund. Roll tide. Oh, we got an Alabama. Alabama Roll Tide in the house. I went. To Don't Auburn. know what the hell that means. It's a, it's a university in Alabama. I went to oh. Auburn War Eagle, so it's like Auburn, Alabama, big white rivalry. Bunch of I figured in. that it was like some sort of southern drug reference. Yeah. Percy Pringles with the two dollars best duo since Conan O'Brien and Andy Richter. I'm I think good. Andy He's took more star. orders. He's the star. I'm just here to read fucking super chats. Uh, Steve O'Devil with the $10. Hail Gundam. Dylan's song is at the wrong speed. At 75% playback, it sounds like a pop song from 2013. Like Clarity by Zed. 2013's pop songs were sang by women. Change my mind. Q 
King Edgelord with the $5. She left me, no motion. But a new girl came in, and I once again have motion. I wish that one day you would drop another song. Your music is fire, Gundam. I'd like to, but you know, I'll send a message right now. Time to get... Oh, what's this? Oh, 3D print's done. That's for another job. Uh, keep going. I'm just telling people. TM Matt's way with the $5. Hey, Gundam, what do you think about moving Northern Lights upstate concert hall during COVID? Also, we should grab a drink, a drink sometime. I'm nowhere Plus, near I'm Northern not... Lights. What I think oh, about, I, I wouldn't, I would not move anywhere else in New York. Like I'm done with New York, one thousand percent. Never again. I'm out. But the second they drop some interest rates and I can get a loan that doesn't like want my soul, my left nut, and my last reason to live, I'm out of here. I am so gone, and I'm never coming back to the state. King Ezra uh, with the two dollars. That's not Magneto. That's Lagneto. <sighs> My own ego I'm telling my six. friends right now we need to put out an album because I'm in full motion. Yes, Every Fluffy, you got motion too. Uh, my own ego with the six pounds. DSB got a cloud, sh cloud stripe wig donated. He assumed it'd be magically styled and spiky out of the box, so he put it on and ended up looking like a male Karen. No, like DSP looked like Andy Kaufman. That's the joke I made on Twitter. That I was surprised didn't cash on. I called him Andy Snort Hall. Come on, baby. Daddy's got jokes for days. It was good. It was good. I thought it was good. Jim Farm with the 10. Triumphant in ancient Rome is a group of three men holding power. In particular, the first triumvirate. Trium triumvirate is the unofficial coalition of Julius Caesar, Pompey, and Crassus. Nothing to do with Christianity. Now... How does that apply to today's America? Are you saying we need more trans people in ancient Rome? Because <laughs> that's the sort of thought process someone on Twitter would have for you. Rome is burning. This whole country is going down the shitter. I don't need the country to go down the shitter when I'm on the edge of finally having something nice. Could it wait till I was dead? Out of sheer decency. And as soon as you get like a little bit of money and the inflation starts and that yeah. money is worth less... Yes, I know. It's like I'm back where I fucking started from. <sighs> uh. A time waster's account with the $5. Magneto being down with the alphabets makes sense, seeing as how, ironically, the bigotry he faces used to fuel the evil in him that he seeks to rid. He's trying uh. to do better, chat. I mean, that's what this whole... That's, yeah. He, is, he flies everyone up into the sky, and yeah. he's like, I could kill you, but I'm being better. And we're going to accept people, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I don't care anymore. Modern, modern audience turn. Yeah, Omar he doesn't Williams. have the same sort of riz the old Magneto had from the first series. Omar Williams donated $5. Thank you so much. Rio Bless you, Omar. Saba with the five pounds. Here is some money for moving in Japan. Remember, Japan government always think you as a second class citizen. Oh, yeah, just no kidding, doubt. Just kidding. <laughs> like, for real, the Japanese are not exactly that keen on Gaiji. I'm not like fooling myself into thinking if I went to Japan, I'd immediately make it. You know, like they just go, ah, so it's a Gundam Deska. Like, yes, I'm huge in America. Did you hear that black kid got let out of jail? What was his name? The one you did the video on. I can't remember. Johnny Somalia. Johnny Somalia. Yeah, he's going to Korea now, and I've already gotten messages from my friends in Asia. And they're like, if he goes to Korea, he'll never come back. And I'm like, well, sucks to suck. Yeah, it's like, with. if something happens to him, fuck him. I don't give a shit. Fuck him. He's a piece of shit. Press three for Greek with the Canadian two. I enjoyed your role in the new Like a Dragon game. Thank you very much. Devon RP with the two dollars. You should come to Long Island. No homeless people. A lot of mafia though. <laughs> Silence, Fluffy. We know nothing about that. Chow Knife Seven just became a member. Thank you so much. Uzi Patrol with the five dollars. Best concert you ever went to. You want to know something about me? I never went to a concert ever. If I wasn't playing on a bill, I wasn't going. That's who I was. 
That's and real. people can find that toxic if they want or like weird or whatever. Nah, I don't fuck with that. I'm not standing in a crowd. I'm not being moved around. I'm not standing next to some sweaty son of a bitch who hasn't washed himself. Either I'm on the stage or I don't show up. So to circumvent this, I tried to see Stone Temple Pilots before Scott Weiland died. I pretended to be a heroin dealer. It didn't go well for me. You would have thought he would have pulled you backstage. Well, I wasn't dealing with Scott Weiland. I was talking to assholes that were like at the back. I'm like, come oh. on, man, Scott, he's looking for the hookup. Got the yeah, he fire. Needs, he needs that special vitamins. <laughs> Daniel, I'm Dr. Feelgood. Daniel Vazka with the $10. The Lord is testing Gundam and he didn't study. <laughs> Fluffy found it offensive. We're devout Christians. Sit. Donnie Danks with the $5. Love the content. Stay dank. Heart emoji. Forever. To Raz dank and beyond. Raz and Taz with the $5. Okay, last one. The Awful Hydra 1943 trailer you forced us to watch. I will never forgive you for that. Put that on me, chat. I'm the one that's controlling the exactly. content. Exactly. I didn't want to fucking see that shit. He's just taking the cancer rays. Now, the second I get bored with something, I will yank it. Rest Vis in peace. I won't be missed. Yeah, he's got the he's got the hook. Viscount SB with the $2. I like the prequels better than the original trilogy. Oh, that's a surprising take that's that I haven't heard take. much of. Aaron Redacted with the $5. Can everyone please stop asking questions and just consume the product? Thank you. We'd God like damn it. I, they I, actually I, I, ignored me. I, 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 yeah, I've seen a band member's messages. Nobody's getting back to me. Fine, fuck it. Trembling I guess I have with to fire five. everybody. What? <clears throat> What's left? What if they gave... <clears throat> excuse me, chat. What if they gave Miles Morales a different name and relocated him to Chicago? <laughs> It'd be a very different <sighs> game that they'd never make. Could you imagine My, that? I can see Miles it now. Miles moving bricks of cocaine around the city. like No, Miles around. would have to catch and arrest black people a lot. If that's not the game they're going to make. <laughs> like, when, I'm not even fucking pretending Chicago is not wild. You're not getting me to be politically correct about fucking Chicago. Miles Morales versus the Latin Kings. John Dominic with the Canadian $2. Gundam send the bobs. Be no bobs today, Chad. Shut it down. Blood Knight with the $5. Hey, Gundam. Think you and Ziltex will play Rise of the Ronin? No, I'm not gonna lie to you. I try to get Zell to play um whatever fuck Hell Divers for like weeks. It's not happening. Cure on the Frozen with the five dollars. I've been playing Unicorn Overlord for 19 hours. Still in the first area. I'm having too much fun with it. I don't even know what the hell that is. Unicorn Overlord. I haven't heard of that. Malakot63 has been a member for 13 months. Can wow. Spider-Man on PC version be modded? Yes, but if you get your mods off Nexus and they feel that your mods are now like bigoted, like removing rainbow flags or whatever, or removing Palestinian flags, they just remove the mod and ban you or something like that. It, it's it's over. Um, the Alphabet Mafia kind of has control of the Nexus too, but I saw that coming as far back as 2016. I just never said anything before. Uh, Hail and thank you for getting me into Yakuza. Thank you, Malakot, for being a member for 13 Yakuza months. Yakuza is a great game. Darren Lacey with the $2. Funny how the person who went to college needs you. I know, right? <laughs> Don't get me started on that, for real. <laughs> Space Eel with the 20 Used to live in California. I know the feeling. Here's some funds for a nice area in Florida. Hey, there we go. Remember when California was nice, dude? I remember hot going chicks. to California in 18 and, be, and actually thinking about back then that I would move to California because when I worked at Drama Alert, I said, well, you know, L.A. is a pretty happening spot. But then, like, as soon as COVID hit, all the big cities turned to shit. I was like, fuck this. I'm going to Florida. I didn't look back. OM is art and stuff with the $5. Here's some get out of New York money. Get out before they put an exit tax like California is doing. Um. Man, oh, I yeah. forgot California did that. They're going to get you coming and going in California. Fuck California. Fuck Gavin Newsom, really. Gavin Newsom's a problem in California. I don't even know how he's still in there, but whatever. 
You know, it reminds me of the conspiracy theory that I saw a conservative saying on Twitter like two months ago or three. And they were like, oh, uh, the Democrats are going to let the migrants in and then they're going to give them the ability to vote. And I'm sitting there like, man, this is just conspiracy shit. I'm not going to listen to these guys. They're just like they're fear mongering. Right. I'll be fucking damned if not long after that. New York is talking about this shit. Yeah. What? 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 They're losing all the uh, Hispanics and African Americans. The liberals are. They're going red. Trump's gonna have a. He's gonna wipe the floor with Biden. And that's what you think. I have a feeling like somehow Biden will mysteriously win again. They're gonna have to, have to pull every trick in the book. I mean, they're trying to make him. Well, he's got to pay that half a billion dollars for a bond. Half a billion, and not a bank will give him any money. So I don't know how he's gonna handle that. Crumbly's been a member for one month. Maybe you do take a vitamin for Crumbly. I have to stay healthy for crumbs. Raymond Hurd with the $20. As an Italian, I understand paying for your parents. I strongly believe in the multi-generational household. Big family, big house. Imagine having a small mob that's all about you and your yeah, family. Yeah, that's not bro. how it works. My whole family is discombobulated, racially mixed. Everybody's against somebody. Everybody treats it like, um, don't let them know what you're doing. Don't let them know you got anything going on. Your uncle's calling. They're looking for money. And they're telling me about some motherfucker I never met in my life. I can't remember this dude's name. And they're like, oh, he's old and he needs money. And they're going to have a family reunion. And you have to come down there and give him money. I'm like, I have to pay him tithes. I don't even know this motherfucker. You know, the last motherfucker I paid that I didn't know was the government. And that will be the last one I pay. I'm not giving this dude anything. Who is he? Who is he? Dude, why do you bring this to me? Be gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Carter Nedley with the Canadian $2. I need to escape communist Canada. Help me. I told Bro, you, dude, run. dress like a migrant. Come up, dude. I'm not even joking. You know what some migrants are doing? This is like what you won't hear too much of. They're they flying do? from Mexico. To Canada and walking over the border to New York. Not oh, even yeah. joking. Yeah, because it's just so. Some easy. of them have died freezing to death. Oh like who the fuck? Like what are they thinking? They think it's all sunny here? <laughs> like, like bro. I'm gonna. It's those NGOs that are getting them flights up there to Canada. I bet because no one coming from Peru is gonna be able to get a plane from Mexico to Canada. They're gonna sh put them on a plane like those Christian. See, you're already in New York. I mean, you're already in Canada, bro. Just pretend you're a migrant. Walk over the border into New York. It'll be fine. Don't buy the paperwork. My designer immigrated here, and she spent years getting her green card. And she just watched migrants walk over the border and get. <laughs> and <laughs> I've had to listen to her yell girl. for a while. Like, listen, just do what you got to do. JG72 with the two from one New Yorker to another. Run. I'm working on it. McLeod 2486 with the five. If you want a red city in Texas, Corpus Christi is where to go. Lots of rural open roads to motorcycle plus beaches and women. If I'm close to a racetrack, that's where I want to be at. No, Fluffy, you've had enough treats. Reg 1990 with the $2. Send me the X doll and the PS5. Lol. Huh. You think I won't send that shit, do you, Reg? <laughs> Show up at your doorstep in three days. Christian F. with the Canadian 3. Big fan, dude. New three-hour DSP video win. Uh, maybe in the summer. This stupid sweet baby garbage is eating up way too much time. King Edgelord with the 5. Gundam, you got full motion, and it's about to drop an album. This is the best year ever. Unfortunately, I've just tried to group chat band members, and no one's gotten back to me. I'm going to see how many people read my message. I'm like, people want music. Let's do this. I'll pay for the fucking studio again. You, be gone. Fuck it. I'll deal with it later. Darn Lacey with the $5. When you go to Japan, go to Nakano Broadway. Tons of Gundam models for cheap. And if you need a travel partner, let me know. Dude, like, Gundam models are so cheap in Japan. I saw a guy buy, like, a shit ton for around four or 500 bucks. But if he came over here and bought them in America, he would have spent double or triple that. He was like, I have enough money to fly back to Japan again. And I'm like, good lord. 
Grumpy Old Man just became a member. Thank you so much. Frog Club Brother Shogo with the $5. Twitter's mad there's no black representation in the FX show Shogun. Oh, that's not Twitter. That, that, was, uh, that was some stupid article writing journalist, dude. Yeah. Like, of course there's no black people in fucking Shogun. It was the Edo period. Suck a dick. What's wrong with these people? You know what I'm really tired of? Here's a hot take. I'm really tired of seeing, like, black Twitter pages using AI to CGI black people into different times in history. They're like, we were the first Japanese. I'm like, what? What are you talking about, dude? T someone take AI from this man. Like, oh, the Irish were originally black. I'm like, okay, sure. Yeah, they had dreads and shit. They're Rastafari. Like, why is this all over my timeline? Edward Boyette the third with the $20. I just got off work and I saw a red notice as I joined your stream. What did I do? Oh, that means you donated over $100, like the red notice super chat. You're not in trouble. <laughs> you're, not, you're not banned or anything. We're just letting everyone know that you're a supporter, a red notice supporter of the chat. Maybe I should make that red instead of blue. Good work. Uh, the ghost of Pinochet with the $5. We warn you, it's too late. Now it's happening. Warned of what? The Shit invasion. going to hell? The invasion, Pinochet. The invasion of Asians? Wait. <laughs> I already knew shit was hitting the fan. Wasn't news to me. I just didn't have the money to get the hell out of the Dodge. Calm down, Raymond Heard with the $10. Yeah, that's the PSYOP that destroyed my family too. We become lovers of ourselves, and they went after my grandmother like vultures. It was terrifying. Listen, I roll alone. I don't really fuck with family. I don't fuck with nobody. I hang out with Fluffy. That's my homie. <laughs> I know the feeling. I got my little dog, Lucy. Oh, wait, I forgot. I have to call my uncle because he's trying to sell me some stuff. You want to buy some art? Maybe. Yeah, you got the money for it, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I need to sort of stop buying so much art. The other day, I was going through my my uh, storage unit, and I'm like, "Fuck, there's like five figures worth of shit in here that's just collecting dust." Yeah, I've got some art laying around here. I've got this giant fucking canvas of Frank Sinatra, and he's arrested. That's now all I do—it's I the go last get some one stuff too. From the framers, like I got, I got a picture from D Face that I got maybe about three or four months ago that I really love, but it's been at the framers for like a month, and I haven't picked it up. You're not getting any fruit. You hear me? Not a single bite. Vagabondo Devon with the $5. I escaped with San Diego, California and moved to Georgia. P.S. That was Star Wars. Black girl Wakanda magic in space. That's true. That is true. I hear Georgia is actually nice. And the houses, they have real nice houses in Georgia. Like yeah, super, super nice. They're super big. Too. They're like mansions. Land. Yeah. You go about... 350, 400,000, you'll get something with like 3,000 square feet, two garage on a couple acres. I got to see it, what their tax look like. They're not great because the only states really that will give you like that no state tax is like Washington, Florida. Uh, there's another one, but I forgot. Wisconsin, maybe. Yeah, uh, I want to take that tax money and put it towards a house. Georgia, was... Atlanta. They're okay. I ain't fucking with ATL. No. It, yeah, if you if you don't like traffic, I was at a wedding ATL that was so retarded. Uh, hip hopperism, nuttiness. Chat doesn't even know what I've been through. <laughs> no, I'm not moving to ATL. Like the Freaknik. I went to the Freaknik one time back in like '95 when I worked at this uh, car audio shop after high school. Like the black guys there were like they thought it'd be real funny to take a a white suburban kid to freak Nick. I'm telling you, I saw some shit out there. Boy, yeah, I I you. see no freak Nick. I was at a bad wedding, but that's another story. Dineska with the five pounds. Tell Fluffy, even though I love animals, small dogs are a joke and should be kicked in the... Oh, this band. Get this yeah, person right out of here. here. Basically, Fluffy is just... Uh, Fluffy's only to let me know if someone's breaking in. She's not for any protection or anything. Fluffy is meant to keep me from going crazy. A time wasters account with the five dollars. Thanks for clarifying the Magneto thing. I wasn't gonna pay Disney to watch that trash. Love the show, by the way. I maybe I'm off the mark. I kind of feel like maybe you should some if you want to see it, go check it out. See, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm losing it. But I really was just underwhelmed with this it show. 
it dragged. It was really more like a dra- an X Men. Yes, drama. it was a drama mostly. There was little action, and the drama was boring. It's just like, ugh. and they would say like they would say Easter eggs in there. I mean, they were talking about oh, Genosha's getting into the uh, United Nations. Yeah, we know Genosha. What about Asteroid M, fuckbags? <laughs> Rude do reviews with the two dollars. This is quality content. This is all you you domain. I don't know. Reading super chats for like an hour. I know. I'm sorry. This is almost done, and then we got like one more thing, and then we can close it out. I just don't want to let any. But we've got donated a lot tonight. Hugh Hayden. Fluffy's really good at letting me know because like we got a problem upstate New York. Motherfuckers from New York City are coming up here looking for catalytic converters. So sometimes Fluffy lets me know someone's in the yard. And I just say shit like, I don't give a damn. I go back to jail. I miss booty. <laughs> and people know to leave, you know? Uh, Hugh Eaton with the 28th Canadian. Another fine live stream. Strength. And then Mr. Boyette with the fucking $50. Sit down for Boyette, Fluffy, now. Look at that. Boss. Good dogs. Our viewers are bosses. We, we have working men and women in this stream chat. Thank God for you people keeping my head above the water as YouTube drowns me like an unwanted pregnancy. Uh, Mr. Boyette saying, now that I know, here you go. Well, there it is. There it be. Finally, now we can get into something. Let's go. <laughs> Josh W. with the $5. Send the X dollar <laughs> DSP. Cat will thank you. I have been banned from DSP's chat. For years now. I haven't even said shit to him since uh, the one time I went in there and said it's Tebbin's fault. <laughs> me Z Wizard with the 20. Gundam, you're killing me here. I've been fighting the army to send me back to New York to be close to my kids. And you're reminding me how much I hate New York. <laughs> I do love my kids <laughs> more than I hate New York. I hate my ex-wife <laughs> more than anything in the world. <laughs> Ms. Eat was on. I hear you. It, nothing worse than uh, when they try to come back into your life after they've ruined it. Am I right? Playing this fucking mental games with you. Spending years getting in touch with you just to fuck around. I hear you. I'm living through it. Take this. Take it. Here you go. Get that squeak, baby. Grimnag with the $2. Montana Governor, I'm telling you. Uh, Montana Gundam, I'm telling you. Not much warmer, though. Montana. Oh. I've never been to Montana. I'm doing warm, dude. I'm not doing cold no more. Yeah. No more snow. No more being outside for like four hours shoveling. Then I got to go in the house and edit <laughs> for like till I go to bed. Fuck that. No, I want to see the sun. I haven't seen the sun in so long. It's like fucking fallout outside, dude. It's always it's, gray. It's nice out here in Florida right now. It was like 65 It's a snowstorm. Today. I went outside. The snow was just whipping around and shit. Fuck that. Oh my God. It's almost April. Why do you think Prince wrote sometimes it snows in April? Because it snows in Minnesota in April, too. <laughs> Purify yourself in the waters of Lake Minnetonka. Vagabondo Devon with the $5. ATL sucks. I moved to the sticks so I could get a fixer-upper dirt cheap. That's yeah, I was thinking it. about it. I was thinking about a fixer-upper fixer in Texas that looked really nice. But I think it had foundational damage. Composite Frylock with the $5. Fun fact, in the Marvel Comics Exiles, there was a mutant named Magnus who was the son of Magneto and Rogue from another Earth. Oh, wait, was that... I, I, I'm There's trying. also X-Men Alpha where that also happened, too. Is that the same continuity um, universe or a different one? Here, let me pull it up. Marvel. We don't even need to look it up because it's not worth it for oh. this fucking show. Uh, last super chat, King of Hearts with the five dollars. Long time watcher, first time donator, Gundam. What's the source of the clip that you use in the videos that's in black and white where he yells, Stop them? Kids, in the, kids in the hall. It's uh the my pen episode. Actually I have that on the soundboard. Yeah, I've watched a lot of kids in the hall in my life. It was one of my favorite little shows on Comedy Central back when Comedy Central actually played funny shit. And I was watching it again. I don't know why. Was I watching it again or is it just one of those things that stuck in my head? And I was talking about something I knew I shouldn't say. And it was right after I got in trouble with YouTube. And all I could think was, stop him! 
is yeah. probably what someone at YouTube would scream when I make fun of Dylan Mulvaney. So I was like, let's use that. Oh, was that back when um we were talking about Kids in the Hall and then I was like, uh, you're like, I wish I had the whole season. Yeah, it might have like, been the season you sent me. Uh, yeah, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, yeah. That's what we got it out of. Uh, okay, well, that was the end of the Super Chat. I was going to do one more video. and it's All right, not, let's see it. It's not anything that we would normally do. It's from Dodge or Stellantis. But the video what? itself is what I'm talking about. Hold on a second. Let me find it. Get out of here, Fluffy. Show's almost over. Then you could be a bad poppy. Okay, Dodge, the next generation charge. No, nah, I was not a fan of uh, Arizona, my dude. I was there for a short period of time. Okay, this is uh, from Dodge. Well, oh, man, we're doing a car. The electric Dodge. Electric car. Now, this is they've gotten rid of all the Hellcats, all the t Challenger Hellcats, the wide-body scat packs. All of that is now gone because the United States government won't let Dodge make V8 engines anymore. They have to make EVs. <sighs> So now they're trying to sell an EV as a muscle car, and we get this uh, drunk frat dad energy wow. video. I hope to God Biden gets out of office. Like, he sucks. For what he's doing to cars alone is enough. But the money he sent to other countries while ours burns, dude, you could – I'm not driving electric. I don't give a fuck. My next motorcycle is going to be fucking expensive. I'm going to get a Ducati V4R with the – $10,000 exhaust on it just to be a prick. Then I'm going to put the most expensive oil and gasoline in that fucking thing and rev to the moon. Fuck the, uh, what are we fucking here? The Stop. environment. Fuck it. Fuck the environment. The E and the ESG. We're going to die. Yeah. That's right. Fuck ESG. Somebody wrote, wait, really? Is that true? Yes, it's true. This yeah. is happening, dude. 100%. No more V8 Hemmings. That's why I got that fucking truck. Last V8 of its kind. Mm-hmm. Oh boy! Oh, they even put the V ambulance badge on it. Damn, dude. Yeah, they, they got like speakers now that make the exhaust sound. Fucking gay. Look at this a black cop from 1900. I know, right? <laughs> what is this? Turn down the shitty music. We might get hit for it. That sound that it made. Look at that money when it had value. Stopping on a dime. This is just such a fucking trash car. But wait, it, when the video starts, that's why I'm playing this. Listen to that exhaust chain. Rev that thing up and blow the speaker. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at this. This is Holy Dodge ham tramming. What is I knew that? It. And who the hell are you? Whoa, whoa. Calm down, guys. I'm on your side. You oh can put my down god. those wrenches. I'm on your team. No, you're not. Okay. Look, you corporate is a shell. Multi-billion dollar corporation. Look at this. The way this ad so is made. You don't realize it yet, but you're at an extremely important decision point in your This looks like something filthy Frank could do. I know. Do you want to keep working for the system, or do you want to take on the system? Wait, well, what? Yeah, that's that's. Do you want to keep working for the system because we gotta, we have to abide by Dude, the system. Dude, the system so, is forcing this shit. How yes. is this? Get get this out of here. I'm already. <laughs> I can't stand this shit, man. They want to take everything from you, dude. Everything. There's like, I don't care. Fuck electric cars. You drive one good for you. I don't give a fuck. There's something about a V8 engine or a high performance motorcycle you can't recreate with electric. The very visceral nature of the gears in motion, the power, the just the energy it exudes. This machine is designed to just go fast and it wants to kill you. But you have to tame it. It's a it's a metal horse. It's the last piece of freedom. Ah, f it, speakers? speakers for the engine. For Get out of here! This is the gayest shit I've ever seen. Yeah. And I've seen James Charles music videos. They're I've seen to... James Charles at Coachella. I've seen some gay things, but this takes the cake. They're trying to pump it up. They say, "Well, we got six hundred horsepower and shit." What does 600 horsepower, like, what does it matter if the fucking thing 
Yeah, I'll just mute it, but we can play it. Just okay. let it run so I can see more of this. What's the whole point of 600 horsepower okay. if it's just so neutered? I feel like this is another sign of control because you could easily turn off one of these cars. And on top of that, from another perspective, as a guy who fixes his own shit sometimes, they completely remove your ability to repair your own vehicle. For that 100%. alone, it's not worth it. No. Fuck this. And those EV batteries, like, let's yeah, say once they you're go unlucky. Bad, that's it. Like, you can't, you can repair an engine. Yeah. Put, turn the, the battery, on. once, it, once yeah, it's once, gone, that's it. That's it. And you can't, you know, it, you can't recycle it. You can't do anything. It's like $25,000. Yeah, that's really $1. weird. And like, why are we pushing for a, a, a car thing? We can't even recycle the batteries if need be. And these batteries don't last for more than four years. I mean, you can already see the Teslas from like twenty. John Wick says he's replaced an EV battle battery. It's awful. I've done it. Jesus yeah. Christ, man. Look at yeah, of course, total trash. They try to like play it off like, oh, it's easy. It's just like swapping a battery out of a cell phone. Have you ever try to swap a battery in a <laughs> dude, cell phone? Dude, they make it so hard to get a battery out of a cell phone now, man. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Apple's been fighting tooth and nail for years to keep you removing a battery. Ah, oh, fucking a, that's a shame. So, and so that's they real killed sad. off their entire Hemi line, like all the big. The Hemi is so legendary. I've got, I have a Hemi of rental car right now, just because I wanted to drive a, a V8 while my car's in the shop. I would never drive an electric car, dude. Ever. Don't you don't you notice most of those rental cars are moving away from like electric cars now? The rental car companies are moving away from this. Yeah. Because they can't, the, the service on those things is trash. Once you buy the car and it's, it just lasts for like maybe 60,000 miles, the battery goes dead and then, you know, it's too much to fix it. So they just fucking throw it away. This is <sighs> trash right here. Look at this. This is a bad video. Like, what is this all is this shit? a billion shit? dollar car company and this thing looks like it was done in fucking. It shows you how movie. cheap they are. It shows you how cheap they are. They want to save as much money. As as a muscle car on the track. Isn't the car industry losing money on this shit anyway? All these EV yeah. regulations? Oh, yeah. They have this thing where you have to, like, sell so many EVs to offset your gasoline engines. It's like buying credits, the, the E and ESG. Like, Ugh. as many EVs they sell, then they can sell, like, the big trucks, the big diesel trucks. They're allowed to sell them. But since Dodge has never sold an EV, they couldn't, they couldn't buy any credits. So it would have cost them too much to make the V8 Chargers and Challengers and shit. So now all That's the, why Texas is like pulling funds from uh, those BlackRock cocksuckers. Exactly. Exactly. Which because is good. Saying, Fuck them. If they're going to invest in companies that are against oil companies for environment's sake, then they won't take their money. They don't want their money in Texas. Which I think is that's pretty cool. Yeah, trying to get to Texas. Yeah. And a lot of car manufacturers, because of this shit, aren't they moving to Mexico like... um. Tesla? Yes. So like if, in the long run, this is... cars are made in Mexico now. So this is also costing people jobs, right? 100%. Oh, fucking this Jesus. This is Stellantis. Like, this is... For one, I don't know why they changed the... From Dodge to Stellantis, because that's a shitty name. Wait, it's what? Like they a, actually changed the name? Yeah, like, even though it's called Dodge, see, look at the front, like that emblem? Yeah. That's the yeah, Stellantis I, emblem. And I don't know why they did this. Because the CEO's stupid. they neutered this car. And they're trying to sit here and, like, do this hypothetical multiverse shit. Right, hey, look, exactly. founders of Dodge. Look how we fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> look Remember how much better this is. those gasoline engines you pioneered? Yeah, fuck those. Remember those it. engines that you guys created that lasted generations? Well, thanks to a... Let's face it. Like, Biden isn't the president. He's, like, yeah. just a figurehead and his handlers are running shit. These policies are so fucking progressive. It doesn't even match the Biden that we knew decades ago. Yeah, decades but ago whatever. he was sending he was sending people to prison for thirty years. Yeah, give a shit. But now he's letting them in, you know, and giving them a giving them a job. Yeah, it's like two vote. different people. Mm -hmm. This reminds me of if there was an emperor in China that this happened to. Well, like, but the difference is the emperor of China died. Maybe it's during the Ming Dynasty. Someone in chat could correct me. But um, when he died, all his handlers and advisors and shit took over power and pretended he was alive. And they enacted policies that people hated while parading his body around the towns. Uh -huh. And they would, they would, his corpse would be in the fucking thing. And they'd have the, the body followed by trays of fish to hide the smell of his rotting flesh. 
And they're like, why does it smell? Oh, the emperor is just loves this fish. Now we're doing some policies that suck, but the emperor signed off on it. I feel like that's what the Biden administration is now, except he's alive. Or so this, we think. This is the last part. I just want to, when he talks about the fucking exhaust, it makes me laugh because it's just a speaker. It screams as loud as today's supercharged V8s. Whether yeah. you opt for the 496 horse RT or the 670 horsepower Scat Pack, or later, the SRT Banshee, every charger carries the Dodge Torch when it comes to touching all the senses. Yeah, but that's that's where we're going, Chad. So basically, they Fighting think the, that people yeah. like V8s Fighting is the because of sound. complying with the system. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. This is this is them bending over. I don't necessarily like like SRT Manchies. I mean SRT Hellcats and stuff like that. But I do admire a, a nice V8. And then when you sit there and have like one of the best selling cars in America, and then go to this shit, it's like I'm 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 done. How long you think this will last? Three years. Then they'll go. Out you of give it three. Three years because they'll have to take the first. They've made enough engines now where they have to. They're in. Ten toes deep, so they got to mm -hmm. go at least a generation with this car. In three years, right. they'll be back to selling. Uh, so Trump, V8s. let's say if Trump wins, you still think it'd be three years. I think if Trump wins, they'll can this shit within a year and a half. Could be. If he wins twenty five, and then they're in. Yeah, but model year twenty twenty six. If Trump's in, they they probably go back to it. They'll can it. They'll go back to Dodge. They'll bring back the Hemi, and they'll act like we're doing it because the people loved it. Right, exactly, exactly. We made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> we put all our eggs into the EV basket, and now we're fucked. Man. Fuck this. Isn't it sad to be alive for everything that sucks so much dick unanimously? And so quickly, too, like four years. Oh, I'm tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> When's the last time you woke up and there's some good news, like real good news? 2019, 2018. Yeah, okay, so pre-2020. Yeah. yeah, 100%. Uh, Well, that's about it. I, we got a, two more Super Chats that just came right, in. Them up and I got to clean some shit. Cool. King of Hearts with a $5. Long-time watcher. First time. No, wait. We just did that. Ah! Uh, po poetic Silence with the $20. Just to mess with you guys, here's the last Super Chat. You're the man, Josh. Hey! Thank you very much. We're going to do I a, told you, chat, not to encourage him. What? Encouragement makes people... Yeah. Into the news! No, show's over! <laughs> Thank you, Poetic Silence, for boosting my ego. Sharpshooter James with the $5. Georgia native here. Stay out of ATL. It's literally the Chicago of the South. See? Yeah. I agree with that. Uh, Kingzilla has been a member for one month. Got a 66 Charger in the garage. This is a disgrace. Ooh, I'd love to have a 66. Dude, uh, when I pick up... General when Lee, I pick maybe. up that fucking uh, Mach 1 Mustang, I'm keeping that the rest of my life. Man, you got to get down here to Florida or Texas. Like, that's all we... I'm, I'm leaving I'm New York here, to get it. I'm going to the beach to go hang out at the car show. Oh, uh, he's going to the car show. I'm going to go pick up cat droppings. <laughs> then I'm going to open a Dabe and look at that shit till it's time for bed. That transport with the $5, Ford is not giving up their V8s. Yeah, because they sold the Mustang Mach-E. They were how, yeah. That's how they were able to off, offset The Mach-E that was popular for five whole seconds, and yep. everybody realized it wasn't that awesome. Only yep. women bought Mach-E's. I never saw a dude in one. Not one. But the women, they did sell a lot of them to women. I give them that. But that's the only way they were able to keep those V8s in the trucks. Darth Revan with the $10. Stellantis is owned by Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. For a while, this has to be the worst commercial, which was all CGI I've ever seen. Original Xbox games have better graphics. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's like, this is a billion-dollar company, and this shit looks like it was created in iMovie with a shitty green screen. Dude, they're trying to save as much money as possible. Because they're not going to sell any of these fucking cars. I, I have a feeling like they're just going to end up somewhere on a lot in the future. till they start exploding, like, ten years from now. Can you imagine, like, the, they have side shows, like all those cars doing donuts in, the, in, in like, California or whatever, stolen Chargers, stolen Hellcats. Now they have these, this shit. 
maybe they're doing that so people aren't stealing those cars and going and fucking. If you really want people not to steal your car, you need a manual transmission because some people are just too retarded to understand how that works. That's your <laughs> anti theft, really. <laughs> Hell yeah. Which speaks to how fucking dumb people are today, where a manual shift is like magic to them. Oh, God. Raider with the Canadian 10, that was the Bud Light Mulvaney ad of cars. Exactly. I think I found I think I found Dylan Mulvaney less offensive, yes. <laughs> Raiden Cage with the $5, yo, it's an order just to talk and watch. Thanks for all that you do. Oh, thank you for believing that it's an honor to watch this shit riding. I'm telling you, this is a fucking trash dump, but we appreciate everything, Chad. Okay, that's uh, that's it. Well, it's another day, another Wednesday, another hump day for the week before we make our way off into the weekend where hopefully you have something worth doing. I strongly suggest leaving the internet as much as possible and experiencing life, something that many people forget to do. They forget to remember that what happens on the internet doesn't translate to the real world, that you can simply close your phone and walk away. Also remember that it's important not to let people control what you can say, because he who controls speech can control how you think, and that's the first step to domination. Never give them your pride or your integrity. Never let them think that they've truly broken you or won. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, crap. It crashed. <laughs> well, <laughs> sometimes you eat the bar and sometimes the bar eats you. Can I change my face while it's like that? Yes. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, well, hey, now. Eh, it moved for a second. Uh, no, that's that it. Good night, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> You're banned, Rod. They take land from you and me Gold is on their blue eyes to see War time, I promise you means there's blood on you There's blood on me to hit that like button everybody we'll see y'all next week sitting for he's no white man's fool but the crazy horse holds ill temper it get all our fight they'd always remember this side past December one time I'm promising there's blood on you there's blood on me